for the masses. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. If the game is rigged, change the game. Game changer. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. This is Fade to Black with your host, Jimmy Church, on the Game Changer Radio Network and KGRA, the Global Radio Alliance. I need your help to get to the year 1985. Listening to Fade to Black with Jimmy Church on the Game Changer Network. Good evening. Fade to Black. Bespoke Radio. For the masses. Ah, yeah. You know what today is. Today's Monday, February 14th, 2022. 45 days into the new year. Only 320 days left. We are live from a bunker somewhere in the middle of nowhere. A total undisclosed location. Yeah, but it is beautiful in here. Posted some pictures from the weekend of this bunker. Yeah, it's nice in here. I know you want to come and visit. I would like to welcome everybody listening all around the world, all across the United States. Hither and thither, to and fro, back and forth, up and down, east and west, north and south, far and near. This is Fade to Black for KJCR, The Game Changer, and NX Networks. I am your host, Jimmy Church. What is cracking, everybody? How you doing? Another amazing week coming up here on Fade to Black. Starts off tonight on Valentine's Day. Marla Martinson is here. She's here. She's the host tonight. I'm just along for the ride. This is our annual Valentine's Day special with Marla. That is tonight. Tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is back with us. The UAP Rebel. That's tomorrow night. Lou Elizondo is here. Wednesday night, James Fox. Holy crap. James Fox is going to be doing a drive-by with us. We'll get the full updates from him on what's going on in his world. And then Thursday is another fader night with open lines all night long. That's right. Now, let me, um, oh, just in case you haven't heard the news, the L.A. Rams won the Super Bowl. I'm just letting you know. Went down right here in Los Angeles yesterday. I don't do sports anymore, but you know what? I will. That's the home team, number one. Number two, you know, the the, the things, World Series, NBA championships, uh, the uh, the Super Bowl. That's when you know I have a, a somewhat of an attention span that opens up. You know, for for those events, the rest of the year I just don't have time, and it's uh, it's another life. It's past life. But it went down yesterday. The L.A. Rams won the Super Bowl, and have you have you seen what's going on outside right now? Have you seen the full moon tonight? Holy crap! I was out there before the show, and I just looked up, and I was like, look at that. That is glorious. It's amazing. And it's perfect for Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> it's right there. Got Marla Martinson on the show. She's going to be doing readings with all of you tonight. We've got a full moon outside. L.A. Rams won the Super Bowl. It's Valentine's Day. What a perfect night. What a what a great way to uh, kick off this week here on Fade to Black. Now, as we do every year with Marla, let me give everybody the the heads up. Seven four seven two two eight is seven four seven two two eight two zero five one. That's the number to call in. And uh, tonight, your relationship uh, questions and readings will be answered by Marla. If you cannot get through on the phones, then tweet me 
All right, hashtag F2B, and uh, give me your name and your relationship question, and I'll mix those in with the phone calls tonight, okay? Um, It's going to be a busy night on the phones. It always is with Marla, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's Valentine's Day, and Marla Martinson is here. Just hung out with Marla last weekend over at the Conscious Life Expo. She's such a bright ray of sunshine. She's absolutely incredible. Lights up her room. And uh, it's, it's always great when I get to hang out with Marla over at the Conscious Life Expo. And and for Jimmy, I'm so excited about the 14th. It's Valentine's Day. And, I mean, this is her special day of the year um, as well. And uh, And tonight we get to spend it with her, and she'll be here with this at the bottom of the hour. So it's very simple. 747-228-2051. Or, you know, hit me up on Twitter. At J Church Radio. Hashtag F2B. That is the sandbox. All right? You can follow me on Twitter. At J Church Radio. At J Church Radio. The sandbox, of course, is hashtag F2B right there on Twitter. Any questions during the show tonight? Hashtag F2BQ. You can also... if. You want to post there. I've got it live in front of me. So if you want to post there for Marla tonight, you can do that too as well. All right. Let's get to the breaking news. Let's get to the breaking news. Oh, by the way, um, uh, Brad and Michelle Harris uh, came over this weekend uh, um, uh, with Jonah and for a guitar lesson. And Lisa Reed came out uh uh, to kind of fill out uh, the the how do I say this the space right and uh, more on that in just a minute but hanging out with Jonah and um, and I posted a couple of pictures um, uh, you know here in the bunker and and doing a guitar lesson we were in here for probably three or four hours straight and that that was a lot of fun and I got a lot of questions. Um, emails and th- coming in what was the guitar that I was using and which guitar did you know and and, and that guitar I've got a few of them um, but that particular guitar was a Hamer a Hamer uh, double cut and uh, I chose that guitar <laughs> not because of the idea first off all the guitars here play great um, but Jonah's guitar is a hardtail. It's an Ibanez, uh, Les Paul shape, really nice guitar, by the way, uh, but it's a hardtail. So once I saw Jonah's guitar, I just wanted to play a guitar like Jonah has. And, uh, I could have played the SG or, you know, I've got a bunch of hardtails, but that, you know, and I just thought when you're, there are no secrets Right, there are no secrets, Jonah. I'm playing the same guitar as you. <laughs> That's it. So anything that you see me do on, on this, you can do on your own guitar. There's nothing different going on here. And his guitar is probably nicer than uh, the Hamer. But that's what that was. That was a Hamer double cut. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to answer everybody individually and send out emails. So that's what that was. Okay, let's get to the breaking news. Super Bowl was yesterday. Renee hit me with this today. This is Renee's top five Super Bowl advertisements. Her favorites out of over 50 ads shown. So her first was Arnold Schwarzenegger and Salma Hayek as Zeus and Hera. The BMW commercial, the all-electric BMW, that was a great, great, amazing Super Bowl ad. That was excellent. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Peyton Manning and Friends as Bowling Buddies. That was another great commercial. There was another one with Peyton in his house uh, with his dad, the Super Bowl party thing. I really liked that one, too. But that one, the Bowling Buddies, that was pretty cool. And then uh, Colin Jost and Scarlett Johansson as themselves, an Amazon ad. That was actually, uh, that. you know what, they were all great, but that was one of the better ones of uh, the afternoon yesterday. And uh, Zach Braff and Donald Faison as their Scrubs characters. I think they were neighbors, right, for T-Mobile. It was a great ad. 
And it was a great ad. Almost didn't recognize Zach for a second. He's kind of aged a little bit. Faison still looks like Faison, though. And uh, a Clydesdale journey with this canine buddy, the Budweiser. That was a great commercial. And uh, which commercials did you enjoy yesterday? I have to say, Renee called it correctly. Um, I think these would have been my top five as well. I think uh, Renee was just a spot on with this. Maybe she knows what I like. Maybe she only sent me the five that that she thought that I would enjoy too. That, that's quite possible. Or maybe we're just connected, right? Maybe we're just connected. But these would have been the five uh, that I picked. That Arnold Schwarzenegger, Salma Hayek, though. That was uh, pretty friggin' amazing. All right, let's get to the rest of the breaking news. The extreme dryness that has ravaged the American West for more than two decades now ranks as the driest 20-year period in at least 1,200 years. According to Park Williams, a climate scientist at UCLA and the study's lead author, they examined major droughts in southwestern North America back to the year 800 and determined that the region's dry up so far this century has surpassed the severity of the mega drought in the late 1500s, making it the driest 22-year stretch on record. They also concluded that the dry conditions will likely continue through this year and, judging from the past, may persist for years. Incredible. Well, I've uh, been talking about this. The event on March 4th, a rocket stage set to smash into the moon on March 4th, is no longer believed to be a piece of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket but rather a booster from a Chinese rocket sent to the moon back in 2014. Bill Gray, an astronomer and developer of the asteroid tracking software Project Pluto, initially identified the errant space junk as the upper stage of a Falcon 9 rocket, but now he says it's actually a rocket booster from China's 2014 Chang'e 5T1 mission, which launched in October of 2014. All right, so slight correction, it's Chinese. Astronomers have detected a new type of freak star covered in helium-burning ashes, which they say were likely formed by a rare stellar merger event. When hunting for hot stars with the large binocular telescope in Arizona, The German team of experts came across two stars with the same unusual properties. Now, I talk about what makes up a star, including our sun, and how things change. I talk about it a lot here on this show. That's why this caught my attention. The stars called PG-1654-322 and PG-1528-25. The stars are within our galaxy, but they're about... 12, 10,000 to 25,000 light years away. Now, while normal star surfaces are composed of hydrogen and helium, these newly found stars are covered in great quantities of carbon and oxygen, the byproduct of helium nuclear fusion. This, uh, this much carbon and oxygen usually indicates that they have finished their nuclear fusion reactions. However, temperatures and diameters of the two newly discovered stars indicate that helium continues to fuse inside them. The exact opposite of everything that we know and teach. Remember, once you get to that oxygen-carbon stage of a star... You need extreme temperatures, 100 million degrees, to to get oxygen and carbon to fuse on the inside and keep the star going. That pressure, the gravity is not there. The star shrinks. The fusion stops, and it just dies out, right? And that's what our sun will eventually do. That's not the case here. It's the exact opposite, and it is extremely interesting. All right, let's get this show cracking. Happy birthday to today. Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg is 51. Yeah, I thought he was older. He's done a lot of good alien UFO movies, and that TV series, too, is pretty good. 
Uh, Matchbox 20 frontman Rob Thomas is 50 years old. And OG heart guitarist Roger Fisher is 72. Holy crap. Barracuda. Right? Right? Wow. Roger Fisher, 72 years old. Our dead guy's birthday today is Tim Buckley. 1947 to 1975, Tim was a guitarist, singer, songwriter, and a producer. His music and style changed considerably through the years, but he began in folk music. That's right. Uh, He got a really good manager and moved to New York and got into the folk scene. But his later work experimented with jazz and psychedelia, funk, soul, the avant-garde, and an evolving voice as instrument sound. Tim was also the father of Jeff Buckley, one of the most influential artists of a generation, whose rendition of Hallelujah is one of the great moments in music history. Tim, uh, or Jeff, died at the age of 30. I talk about that all the time. Well, on June 28, 1975, Tim completed a short tour with his show in Dallas, Texas, playing to a sold-out crowd. He celebrated the weekend with drinking and partying with his band and friends. Someone whipped out a bag of heroin. Tim died the next day on June 29, 1975, at the age of 28 from a heroin overdose. Incredible. Happy birthday, Tim Buckley. On this day in history, it went down... The reason why the reason why we're celebrating tonight, 270 AD, St. Valentine is beheaded in Rome on the orders of Emperor, Emperor Claudius II. Do you know the story behind St. Valentine? Yeah. Claudius, he 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 didn't want he didn't want happiness. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. It's absolutely incredible. St. Valentine was all about love and family and relationships and and things. And Claudius, man, he wanted control. Chopped his head off. Burned him at the stake, then chopped his head off on this day, 270 AD. Fader fact. Check this out. The night before Iraq invaded Kuwait. Okay, now listen to what I'm saying. The night before, allegedly took everybody by surprise. The night before Iraq invaded Kuwait, there was a ginormous soar, an increase of pizza orders made by the CIA. And that is your fader fact. That's how you, that's how you know something's going on. Monitor pizza deliveries to Langley, Virginia. That's what you do. Keep your eye on that. Yeah. All right. Tonight, we have very special guest. Marla Martinson is here. It is our annual Valentine's Day special event. You can call in. The phone number is 747 Marla's going to be with us at the bottom of the hour. And if you have Jimmy, do you boil your strings? No, I don't. That's uh, an old Eddie Van Halen trick. That just popped up in Twitter. Post up in Twitter, hashtag F2B, hashtag F2BQ, your name and your relationship question on this Valentine's Day. We'll get a reading in for you, or you can call in 747-228-2051. All right. Tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is here. Wednesday night, James Fox. Thursday is another fader night with open lines all night long. Now it's time for me to hit this River Moon coffee. RiverMoonWellness.com. RiverMoon Coffee. RiverMoonWellness.com. Links are over at JimmyChurchRadio.com. We have them throughout social media. Promo code hashtag F2B blend. Gets you 15% off of your order today. It is truly the best coffee in the world. All right. If. If you lived across the street from Disneyland and had free passes to the park, do you go every day? Right? I mean, 
Maybe at first you do. But after a while, when you skip, you know, you skip a day, and that stretches into a week, and then it's a month, and next thing you know, somebody's going to ask, you know, uh, and you're going to reply. You're going to go, hey, man, I haven't, I haven't been over there in a year. <laughs> and you know it's true, right? You're over at your friend's house. You point at his Harley, and you say, dude, you must ride that every day. And you know what the answer is going to be? I haven't ridden that thing in about six months. It's just the way it is. And you're thinking to yourself, man, if I, if I had that, all I would do is ride it. That's all I would do, right? Well, so what's my point? Well, I had some friends over this weekend. And my backyard and sky are the UFO mecca of the known universe. That's right. I have friends over and we didn't break out the night vision or look at the sky all night long. Yeah. We all sat there on my back patio under the stars and never looked up. We ate, we drank, we smoked, we talked until the wee hours of the morning. Smoked everything, by the way, it, to the wee hours of the morning and never once thought about checking out our E.T. brothers and sisters. Yeah. And another strange thing popped in my head last week as I watched this amazing jet launch into the sky. Disappear right in front of me. And at that moment, I decided not to shoot a video or take a pic. I just watched it, and I decided not to mention it on the show that night. Why? Well, that's a good question, because I'll try to answer it the best that I can, but it's this. The people working over there on all of these secret projects are trying to get their work done, and they don't need some guy, you know, some guy in the neighborhood broadcasting live every night about what's going on. Some things just need to be on the down low. And here's the other thing. So far, they've left me alone. And I can guarantee you that they know that I'm here. That's a fact. But I need to respect that. I don't want any trouble. I don't want issues with my neighbors, right? With the town, seriously. But but that boundary, that respect only comes with the secret project stuff. If I see or video some crazy object in the sky, you know, a UFO, UAP type of thing, that's going to be talked about. You know, some anti-gravity black triangle hanging out. You betcha. I'm going to be right here on the air. You know, some plasma energy ship zipping around. You're going to be the first to hear about it. I don't give a crap if I get caught yapping on the air about that stuff. But the other stuff... Best to keep my trap shut. So back to my point. Back to my point I was making about a minute ago. Um, I was driving around all of these installations that are just down the street, you know, seriously close, you know, almost every day and night. Remember that Disneyland comparison thing? And I was doing it. I mean, it's all right there. It's all right there. And I haven't done it now for over a month. How many times can you ride a roller coaster in a week, right? You know what I mean. So I was sitting on my balcony the other morning, and the balcony is on the second floor off of my bedroom. And I'm looking over at the secret stuff. I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, stuff is going on right now, right there. You know? And I'm thinking to myself, maybe, maybe I should get on the roof. With some binoculars, right? That would be cool, right? And then I got the big brain thought, you know, pop into my head. And, uh, well, this is what I've done. I just got a really cool mini drone, right? Under 250 grams. Read about that. You'll understand why. So I got this really cool mini drone. And all I have to do is fire it up from my backyard, rise that baby up, 
100 yards, 200 yards. Right. And presto, 4K. 4K Digital Pro Drone. The real deal, by the way. As soon as I get good at flying it, right? Aiming and pointing the camera on that little gimbal, right? Zooming in, right? I'm going to get some video together. Now, can this get me into trouble? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. This is Fade to Black. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. <laughs> and the Game Changer and UnX Networks. So you knew this was going to happen. I've got drones, but I don't have the good stuff and, and things. You know, i got toys. Now I've got the real thing. The real thing. And 250 grams is, is the deal. Now, I don't know. Electronic security, Ned, what's going on? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Yeah, I can hear it now. Mr. Church, open the door, please. We would like to talk to you, Mr. Church. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. This is Fade to Black. I am your host, Jimmy Church. It is Valentine's Day. Marla Martinson is here. She's here to host our annual Valentine's Day special event. We're taking your calls. Your relationship readings are going down tonight with Marla. Tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is back with us. The UAP Rebel. Wednesday night, James Fox is back. And Thursday is another Fader night with open lines all night long. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. I'll be right back after this short break with our guest, Marla Martinson. Stay with me. This is Nicole Church, daughter of you-know-who, and you're listening to Fade to Black on JimmyChurchRadio.com and the Game Changer Network. You're listening to Jimmy Church and Fade to Black on the X. You're listening to Jimmy Church, Fade to Black. Fade to Black will now pause for alien identification. The station that talks the net. Introducing the Game Changer Blend from River Moon Coffee that delivers a customized blend made specifically for the Fader Knots. If the game is rigged, change the game. It's a bolder cup with some bite. Game Changer is the coffee of choice for those that prefer an organic dark roast that is slightly lighter and milder, but it's still dark. With wild notes of pecans and chocolate with a rich, balanced, full-bodied cup that is roasted to perfection for a great coffee to start your day as an after-dinner coffee or anywhere in between. Artisan small batch roasted to perfection. USDA certified organic all River Moon coffee is freshly roasted and packaged in the USA. Just go to rivermooncoffee.com or click on the banners over on our site and use the promo code F2B Blend for 15% off of your order today. Rivermooncoffee.com. This is the only way forward. This is Fade to Black. Make contact. This is Jimmy Church of Fade to Black, and you can get our podcast for just $2 per month. All you have to do is click on the podcast banner over at jimmychurchradio.com. Hi, folks. It's troubling times, and fear is pushing emotions, which in turn pushes health the wrong direction. Do you ever get an ache because life is uneasy? Try Life Change Tea at getthetea.com. Life Change Tea works on your digestive tract, helping to move food through quicker and comfortably so your health is spot on. Life Change Tea may not help with world issues, but it will help with your digestive issues. A glass a day helps keep the intruders away. So, change your life today. Log on to GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. 
lifechangetea.com. If your health game is off, get on by ordering Life Change Tea. Get the tea.com. And while you're on our site, look around at the great non GMO organic supplements. And if you're a sales shopper, go to our specials page and see what's for you. I've been drinking the tea for 12 years and I'm sure glad for its health benefits. Again, that's get the tea.com. Get the tea.com. The tea that makes you go. The new KUNXDB, the UNX Network, bringing you the best in paranormal programming in premium, high-definition streaming audio and video. Log on to the network at unxnetwork.com and check out the growing lineup of programs, including Jimmy Church, Whitley Strieber, Micah Hanks, and many more. Sign up for the free UNX newsletter, follow the UNX blog, or pick up the latest edition of the UNX magazine. Be sure sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So check us out at unxnetwork.com. Tap the show page and the calendar so you never miss your favorite live shows and podcasts. We are your portal for all things paranormal. The X, explaining the unexplained. Nine out of ten geneticists agree. Fade to black is not your father's radio show on the Game Changer Radio Network. Hi, this is Rob Reiner from Anvil, and you're listening to JimmyChurchRadio.com. What's up? I'm Chris. What up? This is Kyle Massey, and you're listening to Jimmy Church Radio. All right, welcome back. Fade to Black. I am your host, Jimmy Church. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's our annual Valentine's Day special event with Marla Martinson. Tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is here. Wednesday night, James Fox. Thursday is another Fader night with open lines all night long. I've opened up the phone lines, 747-228-2051. That's it. Tonight is your relationship readings. Marla is a Los Angeles-based matchmaker, transformational life coach, energy healer, and tarot reader. She has been using her intuitive skills to connect singles with their soulmates for two decades. She also hosts a podcast called The Mystical Matchmaker. Her latest memoir, The Magic Seeker, humorously chronicles a year in her world as she balances her life as Cupid to muggle multi-millionaires. Interesting way to put that. And uh, her deep dive into the mystical, the magical, and the occult. Marla has been featured on the Today Show, WGN Chicago Morning News, uh, Beyond Belief, uh, of course, with uh, George Nor- Nori over on Gaia TV, and hundreds of radio shows, including, of course, Coast to Coast AM and right here on Fade to Black. Her website is MarlaMartinson.com, and I would like to welcome back to Fade to Black, the bright and cheery, the beautiful Marla Martinson. Marla how you doing, young lady? Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. It, it, what, a, what a great day it is. Um, now, uh, before we get started, um, a lot of people don't know the history of Valentine's Day, right? With St. Valentine and, and how that went down in Rome. And it, it, it's really funny because Claudius II, he didn't want happiness. <laughs> it was like people uh people were were digging Saint Valentine and what he was about and the message there and 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 Claudius wanted nothing to do with that. He wanted nothing to do with it and just just had him whacked. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that it is. There's a lot all of these holidays they've got some fascinating backgrounds there and then they've morphed into a lot of commercialism, of course, you know, and, and uh, what it is today and um, people feel even feeling bad. And, and I don't want anybody, anybody, if they're single, to feel bad on Valentine's, you know, right. I was at Ralph's supermarket the other day and there was this mad rush I, for flowers. And I've never seen so many bouquets and this and that and just the, buying all the stuff. It was like crazy. I could hardly get in there. And it's just interesting, you know, but but uh, 
it's a day of love. I think we should just spread spread the love all over the place. On yeah, Valentine's. yeah. There's uh, absolutely, and uh, for for a lot of us, including myself, you know, you go back to and don't laugh, Marla. Don't laugh because you're the matchmaker. But <laughs> if we go if we go back to like third grade and and getting Valentine's Day cards for the class. You know, and yeah. you're signing them, and then the little uh, the the little heart candies with the messages on them, and you had your eyes on somebody. You did. Yeah. What's that card yeah. going to be like? Are you going to get that card? You know, and it, it was just it was just a great vibe uh, that went down, and I think that we uh, carry that with us throughout our lives. What a special day it is. Oh, when I was, I remember being in elementary school and we'd make these, these boxes out of shoe boxes and then we'd decorate it with construction paper or whatever over it. So that'd be like our little mailbox and we'd put it on our desk and we'd all go put those little cards. There was the ones, you know, with the little, the, they were the little ones with the animals and, you know, they were so cute. Yeah. And then everybody would put cards in each other's boxes and we'd look at it later. Yeah. We had those candy hearts and it was so sweet. It was just do, so do, sweet. Do they still do that? Do they say, yeah, I have no idea. I, I don't have, have no, kids, so I, I I never did, so I don't know. I'd love to if hey, if anybody has kids, put it in the chat. Do they still do that? I mean, yeah, uh, that that was so fun. I mean, I think we grew up in the best era though, Jimmy, you know, where we just had the the things like that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I have two daughters and I thought about uh this today. Did we and I don't remember we must have. Um now and that would have been like ninety 98, 99 ish. No, they would have been four or five. So I guess around 2000. I don't, I just don't remember if we did the Valentine's Day thing uh, with them. I, I, it, it, it's weird. I don't have a memory of doing that. So maybe they don't do it. You know, it's the new curriculum. Right. Right. <laughs> and then even, even May Day, I remember making the May Day basket and leaving it on somebody's door as a surprise, you know, little flowers and stuff. We, yeah. we did all the holidays. That's somebody good. somebody just posted, didn't St. Valentine get shot with an arrow in oh. his butt? That's a <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, somebody said, I sure wish Marla would be my Valentine, JSC077. Oh, Thank you. I know you've got men problems. Don't even lie. Don't even. Don't, no, Jimmy, I don't. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> you do. I mean, it, it, it's, um, it, it, when you're the matchmaker, is it easy for you to be your own matchmaker? Oh, well, sometimes people, well, you know, I, you know, I've been married for 20 years, but that's, um, uh, you know, on the rocks. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's the first time I've publicly said that, uh, uh, but uh, it's uh, been, I'll, I'll just say 2021 was a hell of a year. You know, I had COVID, I moved, I did, you know, it was just, kicked my butt from here to Mars. But um, it's about, you know what, I'm, I'm working on myself so deeply, self-love, clearing out any, you know, past uh, traumas or patterns or um, looking back at what needs, you know, from childhood or whatever, and why I chose the patterns and the things that I did. And, and it's about self-love and, and it, it's, and, and so many new things have come into my life and new opportunities and new realizations. And so, I think a lot of people um, with this COVID have been, have, there's been a lot of breakups, a lot of divorce, a lot of strife, and a lot of p things have been come to the surface of things that weren't working, that weren't working that we, and suddenly it, it was something going in tandem with this COVID, this energetic thing that happened sure. and, and people are looking at, is this really what I want for the rest of my life? And right. whether it's work, job relationships or whatever so um it's been very interesting yeah I, i've thought about this a lot uh, where the opportunity for self-reflection is is there for everybody right now am i in the right job Do, should i change yeah. careers am i in the right neighborhood i've always wanted to move you know what maybe maybe now i should you know, this is the year I'm going to go and do, um, you know, this self-reflection thing. And that must apply to relationships. You know, I, I wonder how many people, um, you know, got divorced going, you know what? Uh, I, I need a change, right? Or, or relationships that broke up or got together, 
you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, because of, of the pandemic. And certainly everybody was changed and affected by it, but relationships, uh, you know, getting together, breaking up, whatever it is. Or how about kids? How many people got pregnant? Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. You, hey, you know, we've been holed up in this house for a year now and I've been looking at you and you've been looking at me. Let's make a baby. Right. I, you <laughs> right. know, like and, in a blackout or something. You know? <laughs> yes. Yes. Like a winter storm. And uh, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you um, when it comes to relationship issues, it's got to be 50 50. There's issues on both sides. Yeah. Well, who talks to you more? Is it men or women? Well, so I'm coaching women now. Um, so I really hear more from the women who have, or look, you know, the problems or looking for love. So in my matchmaking business, the men are my paying clients. And I've always done the high end matchmaking where it's more the affluent men. They're looking for the beautiful women. That's like the millionaire matchmaker. I've been doing that for two decades. Mm -hmm. That's just worked. I have my own business. Right. So, and then I started, um, uh, uh, coaching women and, oh, hey, ladies, uh, this Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, I have a free uh, class on Zoom for about boundaries. It's going to be so much fun because I'm doing a group coaching um, starting late March. So go to my website and look under boundary coaching if you're if you're interested in that. Um, I'd love to have you. But but yeah, so women, we we've got to we look at our the shadow work and the codependency and we tend to. Um, We'll pick the same type of guy, maybe the, the unavailable guy or the guy who, you know, doesn't want to settle down or he's cheats or he's got some narcissist. I hear a lot of this narcissistic tendencies, this, that. So, yeah, it takes two, but maybe one person's really got some issues and doesn't treat somebody right. But then the other person may be attracting that or codependent because they don't have self-esteem or whatever. So, yeah, there's the two. The frequency is always matched when we talk about frequency, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And who's – so we're coming together. And there's there's maximum learning there, too. There's a big lessons that we've got to learn and hopefully – glean out of it instead of just uh, the pain because i think every relationship we're gonna uh, have some major lessons um i love i love the shirt by the way i love oh, the shirt. my, my <laughs> she's got a she's it's got, got skull. yeah it's a, a black shirt but it's got plaid red and black plaid skulls that is awesome that's an awesome shirt um, I'm trying to look well, at your face, but I'm looking at these skulls and it's really a cool secret. shirt. It, it was a $6 shirt from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart is my place. It didn't used to be. It didn't used to be. Walmart's got some pretty cool stuff. If you walk through. Yeah. It's got some cool stuff around Halloween. I always pick up a couple of cool shirts there. Yeah. Yeah. I have this, uh, I have this tray. We'll move on to relationships here in a second. I've got this tray sits on my island and it's a a black Halloween tray that I got at Walmart. I didn't get it for Halloween. I got it because it's got skull handles on it. It's like the coolest thing ever, you know, in their Halloween decor. I'm like, man, that that's, that's a year round addition to the house right there. (laughs) I bought that thing from Walmart. I get comments on it. And it's like, where'd you get that? And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Walmart. So, oh, hey, hey, Jimmy, somebody's asking Kim Jellen, would you ever match a non beautiful woman with a billionaire if there was a good personality fit? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay. okay. Would you? Uh, I well, I don't have any billionaires on my roster right now, <laughs> <laughs> and and the billionaires they want the supermodel. You know, the billionaire. Some women will think I want a billionaire. Do you really? These billionaires are very complicated. You know, they they to be a billionaire, just think what kind of a a personality you've got to have there, right? Yeah, and they can date any anybody, right? Any, you know, they want. Yeah, I remember. Okay, I'll tell you real quick, uh, funny thing. Um, hey, Adolfo, can you be quiet back there? <laughs> um. So I had a guy who, who sent me, uh, one of my clients, he sends me a picture of this uh, uh, and says, I, can you track this woman down? I'd really love to meet her. Maybe you can find her. And it was a supermodel. Uh-huh. And I looked at it and I said, um, I think she's dating Leonardo DiCaprio right now. I, 
<laughs> I don't think she's going to, you know, accept a date. But I, I, not, she wouldn't even take, how would I find her anyway? But, you know, it's funny. Like, yeah, track this supermodel down for me. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a matchmaker, not a magician. Right, right, right. And how do you... I uh, do my best. That, <laughs> in the world of uh, where people just do what they want, Right today, I'm going to buy a boat. Today, I'm going to go Rolex shopping. Today, I'm going to buy another house. Today, I'm going to go co- what, whatever or, or vacation. You know, in that world where they're used to just getting what they want when they think about it. Right? They just have the thought pop in their head, and they go and do it. Ah, oh, today I'm going to go to Ibiza. What you know, whatever it is, and they can do that. So sure. They think that uh, they see a picture of somebody and and they can just go out and do it if they want because everybody they're surrounded with people that say yes, right? right. They're they're not surrounded by people that say no. no that's <laughs> no. right. That's right. They snap those fingers, baby. <laughs> they snap those fingers. How do you prepare um, your deck and and which deck are you using tonight? Okay, tonight I have two decks, and it's the traditional tarot. Uh, one is a, a, a everyday witch, it's a good witch deck. It's just got some, pic, you know, the images are like of these really cute witches. That they've got cats on them. And then the other one's just the traditional Rider Waite tarot. So I don't have any oracle cards tonight or anything. I thought I'd go straight up, uh, straight up classic. Right. And, um, yeah, so I've got two decks going here. They're all, I had them under the full moon, you guys. Mm. They're all charged up. Mm. And ready with for the magic. So so you t- you took them outside and placed them underneath the uh, the full moon tonight? I did. And then I did uh, do a little bit of uh, Palo Santo uh, smoke, you know, uh, incense. I kind of cleansed them. And then I shuffled, 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 and they're you know, infused them with some of my energy. Right. And that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got, uh, the incense burning for tonight too, as well. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. I went and bought it special for tonight and, uh, it was called you sexy thing. That was the name oh. of the incense. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. So anyway, <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, um, I'm excited about this, and uh, I, I'm, I'm ready to go. 747-228-2051, uh, and uh, I've, I've got uh, uh, calls already on hold. But before we get to that, I'm going to um, hit this button and just say that you're going to be up first. Get ready. Um, but uh, I asked everybody, now you can call in 747-228-2051. And if you can't dial in, and I get that, you know, if you can't post up in hashtag F2B or hashtag F2BQ, and uh, we will do that. And I wanted to start off uh, actually with Cynthia. And uh, Cynthia, her question is, and I thought this was really cool. She says, my oldest son Will my, I should say, will my, this is such a mom thing. Will my oldest son open his heart and find love again? And that's from Mm. Cynthia. And, you know, that's interesting. It's a mom thing, right? So obviously she says again. So he opened up his heart once, something Mm -hmm. happened, and now her son is, 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 is closed down. You know, and that's, yes. that's the thing with a broken heart, you know, and how long, right. does that, how long does that broken heart last for some people? It may be a lifetime, right? Well, I, I, so I pulled some cards here and this is pretty, pretty interesting and exciting. So right now we've got the page of wands here and he's just going kind of down the road. Uh, well, also the king of wands and the page of wands. So we've got some energy going forward it feels like he needs to go on an adventure on his own right now he needs to do some exploration maybe do a little road trip he's got to get on his own and and um, have some adventures um i've got the king of swords he's got a lot of ideas he's a very sensitive guy but he also i feel like he's he's very intelligent and has an almost innovative i mean almost he's really high iq type of a guy um the wheel of fortune comes in he's got a lot of luck but the devil comes in. So he's got some patterns there. And I think he's a little gun shy thinking he might pick the same type of relationship again. So he needs to do some self-reflection and some self-healing. And then the lover's card comes in. And so he will find love again. He just needs to 
do that little adventure, take some time to himself and reflect and um, clean up some of his old patterns and see why he picked the choices that he did in the past. Yeah, it, it, that's got to be the hardest thing for people to do. Break patterns because we're all in, yes. in you know, moving in a certain direction um, uh, to break those patterns and and really think about that. That's got to be the toughest thing. All right, let's go to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade oh. to Black. Who's calling? Hi, this is Robin. Hi, I'm by Chicago area. Hi, Robin in Chicago. Say hi to Marla. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Marla. Hi, Robin. Great to uh, talk to you tonight. What's your question? Well, Marla, I'm kind of in a Cinderella syndrome. And mm -hmm. I wanted to know if I'm going to find someone as cool and handsome as a Jimmy Church. Oh. Oh. Wow. They, they broke the mold with him. But, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yes. You know, thank you for that, Robin. Uh, but there, there, there are friends of mine out there that will say, you don't want, you don't want church. You need to steer away. You need to steer away from that guy. But, um, Bad boy. Yeah, thank you for that, Robin. Okay, okay. But what is, um, so uh, help me out, Robin. Maybe Marla knows because I saw her reaction to that. What is the Cinderella syndrome? Well, I'm kind of a hard girl. I'm a little past my prime, but I still like to have fun, and I'm adventurous, and I just like that really cool guy that likes festivals and concerts and just likes to let it hang out. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, so she she does she does want a Jimmy Church type guy because that's 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 all my check boxes right there. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I don't blame her. So, so Robin, the, the lover's card comes in first, and then the page of swords, So, which news of a guy that does, he likes all that kind of stuff. He's got a lot of ideas. The two of pentacles comes in. I think you're going to have two guys to choose from. Are you online on any of the dating um, apps? Or? No, no, I haven't been for quite a while, though. Okay, I'm feeling like you need to get back on there, and um, uh, I think there's going to be a couple that's going to be very interesting. The Justice card comes in. Also, the Knight of Cups, he is he is there. He is coming towards you in your energy field. So there is a really cool guy out there, and like I said, I do feel <clears throat> like there's there, you're going to have your pick. And the Hermit card comes in. Don't forget to do your meditation. Get your frequency high. Um, do your self-care and self-love if there's anything you need to work on within your life um, for yourself. But uh, I see it coming. Um, stay positive. Keep your frequency high and get back out there online. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Robin, do me a favor. Get back to me yeah. when a Prince Charming comes in and takes you to that festival. Okay. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy night. Valentine's Day, Robin. And uh, all the way from Chicago. You know, I was born in Chicago. And uh, mm. when there's two cities uh, before we head to the break, um, uh, Chicago and Indianapolis for me. And when I get callers, Marla, from those two towns, I feel like I've got a little slice of home, right? A little slice yeah. of home. Me too. I lived there most of the '90s in Chicago, right downtown. And I, yeah, I think you can even still hear it in my when I talk Chicago. You know, I get mm -hmm. that hard A. You know, I, I loved it. I feel I love uh, Chicago. I love the Midwest people. Why is it? Um, and I do this. I absolutely 100% do this. If somebody says they're from Chicago, I immediately think of pizza. And mm. I, 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 do you do the same thing? Do you think of pizza uh, well, when you think I, of Chicago? I, yeah, the pizza. I lived right across from one of the best pizza places. Um, also, I think of shit. They had, when I was living there in the 90s, champagne bars. They had beautiful, elegant places to go have drinks. And the and the music, the like music, the redhead piano bar, a lot of the piano bars. Right. That's what I kind of come. And then people would dress up. They, you, it would not be, you would not feel uncomfortable walking down the street in the evening in an evening gown, you know, like going in somewhere. You could mm -hmm. just dress. It was phenomenal back then in yeah, the 90s. Yeah. Now, you know, things are a little different, uh, unfortunately, but it was a place to be. It really I, was. I, I just think of, and it's not a cliche. I mean, when uh, growing up in Chicago, um, my parents taking the family out for pizza was like a big deal. 
Um, what I didn't realize at that age what, was that I was also eating the best pizza on the planet, right? And but yeah. that but that thing has stuck with me uh, my whole life. And so when I when I go out for pizza or Italian food in general, um, I compare it to how what what the memory that culinary thing that I had when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and that's the standard. You know, and so Robin yeah. says, Robin says, Chicago, I think of pizza. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. And they have some great steakhouses. I mean, they I don't do. eat steak myself, but the steakhouses are, you know, phenomenal there. Are you, uh, uh, I got to take a break in 15 seconds. Are you vegetarian? Well, I was really vegan for a long, long time. And then I did start incorporating some eggs now and some things, you right, know, right. Just, I just had cravings, but I, I try to stay as plant-based as I can. Really? And and, and yeah, I like to, to say, no, you know, I'm not I, saying I do a lot that. of juice juicing and <laughs> I'm not you know. saying that like really no like, I'm really really <laughs> that's how I keep my hair red Jimmy the carrot juice <laughs> is that I heard about that let's take our break right here this is fade to black I am your host Jimmy Church tonight Marla Martinson is here it is our annual Valentine's Day special event you can hear she's shuffling her cards right now we'll come back to your phone calls. 747-228-2051. 747-228-2051. I will also take your your questions, your relationship issues in Twitter, hashtag F2B. I'll be right back. Stay with us. This is Fade to Black with Jimmy Church on the Game Changer Radio Network. Your one million gigawatt paranormal powerhouse, KUNX DB, BX. This is Billy Carson with ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. Forbidden Knowledge TV has just reached its one year anniversary. That's right. One year, and as a show of appreciation, we are giving all new subscribers a free 30-day trial of ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. That's 30 days to binge watch thousands of movies, documentaries, conferences, workshops, lectures, yoga classes, meditation courses, and so much more. So log on to ForbiddenKnowledge.tv from your computer or mobile device or get the Forbidden Knowledge TV app on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon, iTunes, or Google Play today and use coupon code 30 days free. That's coupon code 30 days free on ForbiddenKnowledge.tv today. Because you never got that pony you always wanted. <laughs> Damn it. Jimmy Church and Fade to Black on the Game Changer Network. Listen, I know and you know that you've always wanted your first crystal skull. Or maybe you're a collector just like me, but you just don't know where to go to find the real thing. Then I met Carolyn Ford over at EinsteinTheCrystalSkull.com. Carolyn is the guardian of Einstein, one of the most respected ancient crystal skulls in the world. All of her unique skulls have been imprinted sitting with Einstein in his sacred lodge and are carved from the finest gemstone and materials. Imprinting is the process of receiving the ancient wisdom from the master skull or master computer. Einstein, the ancient crystal skull. To see Carolyn's current collection of crystal skulls, just visit her store at EinsteinTheCrystalSkull.com or click on the banner over on our site. Don't forget to use the promo code JIMMY at checkout to receive 10% off of your order today. That's promo code JIMMY. Finding your first or next crystal skull is easy. Just visit EinsteinTheCrystalSkull.com. When you take the beans from Central America with dashes of Indonesian and African mixed in and then roast it to the dark side of fate to black, you create the ultimate brew of fringe. Introducing the Fade to Black blend from River Moon Coffee. Yes, River Moon's darkest customized roast was created for the love of Fade to Black. 
The alchemy of masterful roasting and smoking the beans is in every sip of this full-bodied dark java. I need my coffee dark, deep, with distinct bittersweet chocolate highlights, just like the bunker. Leaning further into the darkness of the roast is Fade to Black Blend from River Moon Coffee. Just click on the banner at jimmychurchradio.com and use the promo code F2BBLEND for 15% off of your order today. Hello, I'm Katie and you're listening to my main man, Jimmy Church, on jimmychurchradio.com. Hi, this is Ray Sobs here repping the planet, and you're listening to my good friend, Jimmy Church, Fade to Black. This is Toby Kebble. You're listening to JimmyChurchRadio.com. Don't hurt me, Jimmy. I'm only little. Hey, I'm Adrian Grenier. And this is Ari Gold. We're the Honey Brothers. <laughs> We're of the Honey Brothers. Hey, I'm Adrian Grenier. And I'm Ari Gold. We're the Honey Brothers. And you're listening to Jimmy Church. The Revolution. This is Jimmy Church of Fade to Black, and you can become an official Fade or Not by just going to our membership section at jimmychurchradio.com. Hello, this is Serena Wright Taylor from Conscious Life Expo, and you're listening to Fade to Black with Jimmy Church, who holds the lucky pony record for the best astrological chart since 1963. True story. This is Micah Hanks of the Graylian Report, and you're listening to Jimmy Church on Fade to Black. <laughs> Welcome back, Fade to Black. I am your host, Jimmy Church. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's a very special day because Marla Martinson is here. She's doing your relationship readings all night long here on the show. Uh, Her cards are charged under the full moon. We do this every year. Uh, It's a fantastic night. 747 228 2051. 747 228 2051. And I am also taking stuff on Twitter. If you post to hashtag F2B or hashtag F2BQ, I'll get your stuff in there too as well. It's going to be a great night on the show. And uh, I want to remind everybody, tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is here. Wednesday night, James Fox. And, of course, Thursday is another fader night with open lines all night long. Marla, you ready to continue? I'm ready. I'm shuffling. Yeah, I'm watching. Do do you? Um, uh, I I just have to. This is kind of personal. Do you carry cards with you all the time? Are they like in your purse? I do. I have a small. This is my little small deck. And I was at a little dinner party last night, and I had them. I pulled them out, and I gave the guests a reading just for fun. Uh, sometimes I'm at a bar up in Seattle. There's one of my favorite uh, places near near my mom's house. I'll go in and just have like a Bloody Mary, and and I'll be sitting there. This is the real, you know, hometown kind of place where they watch sports, and they're the guys that they're truck drivers or whatever, right? They're at the bar, and I go in and I sit there, and I'm just relaxing, and I pull out my tarot cards, and sometimes the guys will be like, "Oh my, what's that?" are those tarot cards and and i'm like yeah you know and and uh then they say can i have a reading and i've done it for a few of the guys they've never had a reading before and they were so impressed and then you know they'll buy me a drink or something (laughs) (laughs) well you know um and you and i i've uh we've done it on the air but in person we've never done a reading we've got to do that one of these times we have to sit down and actually uh uh uh, get one done Uh, i would really like that all right, let's uh, let's see who's up next. Let's go back to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Happy Valentine's Day, Jimmy and Marla. This is Mike from Aurora, Colorado. Hi, Mark from Aurora, Colorado. How you doing tonight? Happy Valentine's Day. Mike, actually. Yeah, that's what I said. I said Mike. It's Mike, right? M I K E. Okay, that's, yep. what, that's what you're. So for a second there, I thought I was slipping, and uh, which is all, <laughs> which is always a Welcome, possibility. Mike. Yeah, Mike, uh, what's your uh, what's your Valentine's Day uh, question for Marla? Nothing specific. Just wondering what's uh, what's there in general general for romance this year. Are you single? Oh. Yes, you are. 
You are single. Okay. okay, she's shuffling the deck right now. Shuffling? Okay, Mike, we're going to see what's coming up for you. All right. Oh, so, mm, okay. Well, this is interesting. So we've got um, the three of wands, and then under that is the death card. So it feels like you've been shedding, especially the last two years with this COVID and stuff. There's some things that you've been thinking about what really serves me and what can I shed and get rid of. Also, I'm seeing clutter or a garage. I don't know if you tinker or something like that, but it looks like there's some stuff in your garage. Um, I think if you can do some spring cleaning and kind of organize um, so that lady can come in, because a lot of times people will have extra clutter and stuff. And is there even room for that person to come in? Are your, Do you have clean sheets on your bed? Do you have a drawer that's organized that she would have place to put to put her things? Um, is it inviting, you know, get some candles or something. The Knight of Cups, I think you're a romantic guy. I feel like you're kind of traditional. The High Priestess comes in. I feel like you're going to um, have a beautiful uh, spiritual lady coming in. Um, the Ace of Swords comes in, New Beginnings. Um, I feel like, yeah, just uh, to get the little, little tiny things uh, to strings tied up that you need to tie up and i'm seeing something maybe late summer the wish card comes in wishes fulfilled so i do see something coming in for you maybe later later on towards you know fall or the end of the year mike all right mike mike that sounds really good yeah Except mike during a home renovation well this is this home is, renovation okay yeah and uh this is this is what i would do uh mike is uh don't wash your sheets do the guy thing. Just buy some. <laughs> buy some fresh sheets. Just go out and buy some. Uh, uh, hey, Mike, do you have yeah. clutter in your garage? I'm just curious. Uh, for a home renovation, yeah. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. See, Marla's right. So <laughs> listen to Marla. Dead on. Yeah, uh, Marla is correct. And uh, thank you for everything, my friend, and happy Valentine's Day. Mike? Bye, Mike, I lost Bye. you guys for a second. Uh, okay, uh, oh, I thought you went to clear out that. Yeah, letter. I thought I thought we <laughs> lost you too as well. Hey, Mike, happy Valentine's Day. You as well. Take care, guys. Yep, right on. And Mike Bye. from Aurora, Colorado. And uh, so let's uh, let's keep these calls going. Let me see who is up next. Okay, hold on a second. Um, at points here, Marla, I'm just going to be straight uh, live on the air. The, the calls are coming in. I have to put these on hold. I have to monitor this. So just stay with me. Yeah. As uh, yeah. as I as I go through all of this stuff, let's see who is up next. And um, let's see here. Okay, now what is going on? Come on, church, get it together. Get it together, church. You know what you're doing. And uh, man, uh, hang on, Marla. Just hang on. I, they're, they're hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fine here. They're, they're, in the radio it's biz, this is what we call they're stacking up. They wow. are stacking up. All right, let's go here next. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? This is Irene. Hi, Irene. Where are you calling from? I'm in Sonoma County. Sonoma County. Nice area, nice area, romantic yeah. area yeah. too. I might add. Yes. All right, Irene. Uh -huh. What? A happy Valentine's Day, and uh, what have you got for Marla? Thank you. I'm just wondering what the universe might have in store for me coming up. Uh, is in general or with love or yes. just a general? In general. I'm in my seventies okay. now. I'm seventies. <laughs> oh, she. Right. She. <laughs> That, isn't that where? Uh, isn't that when the action starts? Right, romantically, yeah. you're out there, and I've heard these stories, Irene. Or have you? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So, um, so it's interesting. We've got some. You've had some. Boy, you you've had some challenges in your life, and it feels like with some exes and stuff, it almost feels like as the devil card comes in, we've got the ten of swords. Some almost feeling stabbed in the back, but you are a woman who rises from the ashes. You've got this beautiful, sparkly personality and soul. I see crystals around you. The magician comes in. You've got the tools. This is, you're like in the prime of your life. I see 
Um, I don't know if anybody knits around you. I saw some knitting needles. Um, there's also a black cat coming forward. It could be a spirit guide for you. The Hierophant comes in and they're saying, keep up with your spiritual practice. And the, and the guides are saying, you're very, you're very, not only a spiritual lady, but you have, um, well, they're showing me some ET guides for you, extraterrestrials and the fact that uh, not only do they visit you at night, but you're very psychic yourself. And if you wanted to at this stage, uh, in this stage in your life, you really have the powerful goddess uh, energy that you'll be able to really, um, you will be able to cultivate that. Okay. That All right. Sounds good. Okay, Irene. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Marla. And, and thank you, Irene. And, and happy Valentine's Day. And you too. Thank you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. That's a great phone call right there. Thank you, Irene. And uh, I, Sonoma County, so funny. That's such a romantic place. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm 70. I'm kind of past that. Let, let's get to let's get to the good stuff from Marla. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Thank you for the phone call, Irene. And uh, let's keep this going here. Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, I wanted to, I, I'm going to jump over to a Twitter for a second. Lisa, Lisa says, she says, all right, all right. She's got a little Matthew McConaughey starting off on, on her tweet. All right. All right. Um, how about just a simple question? Which area of the world is my future ex-husband? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> will will I need a passport or is it just a road trip? And that's my from Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's oh my awesome. gosh. If we need a passport. Well, energetically, I it feels like he's already been coming to you in your dreams. Um Ooh. you're already energetically connected to uh with him. Um and Ooh. I don't know where he is, but um He's already, yeah, he's in there energetically. So it's frequency always is, uh, matches. It's frequency reaches its, uh, you know, each other. And so that's what you've got to do is keep your frequency up. And I don't think he's in, it doesn't feel like he's in another part of the world. It feels like he's even maybe within three to 400 miles. And they're also telling me get on online. If you're not online, um, I still think it's one of the best places to meet people on these dating um, so apps, these dating sites. You got to be careful. You got to have a good, good pictures and a good bio. But I think it's um, very effective nowadays. And what I do for all you singles out there is suggest now video dates. We've got Zoom. We've got um, uh, what do we, Skype. We've got the, the iPhone. You know the i what are you the chat. Um, FaceTime. Yes. So you can get, you know, dress up cute, do your hair, get a glass of wine. You can have a, an evening video date because if, you know, because maybe it's COVID or you don't want to go out or right, driving, right. maybe they're far. So people have been really enjoying that and getting together. It's made a big difference instead of just pictures and the voice, right. you're seeing somebody on video. It's right. fun. And then, and then you can make the decision if you want to take it to the next level. That's right. Wow. Yes. That's, that's pretty interesting. I never thought about that. Um, mm -hmm. It sounds like a sexy time, too, as well. <laughs> a little bit of that action. All right, Lisa. So no passport needed. Apparently, yeah. this dude is, like, in your neighborhood, and it's just a road trip away. Isn't that interesting? She's going to text me right now. Here it comes. A text coming in. Um, I've known Lisa. You met Lisa. You met Lisa I did? Yeah, at the Conscious Life Expo. You absolutely did. She was there. She yeah. was there with her daughter. Okay. Um, okay, next up, let's go to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? What's that? Hey, Jimmy, this is Paul. Hey, Paul. Where are you calling from? Uh, Vernalis, California. Vernalis, California. That's not a real city, Marla. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Have you heard I haven't of, heard of it. Vernalis. What's the population of Vernalis, Paul? Uh, how many people are in this RV? Probably like 75. We're <laughs> on the 132 right before the five. Okay. All right. Just, that sounds about right. Okay. Paul, what's your relationship Valentine's Day question for Marla? Okay. Um, let's say I, I recently met someone online, and uh, we have been uh, connecting um, more abnormally than most any partners I've ever 
met. Um, I just want to know maybe what, I don't want to give too much information, but, um, <laughs> right. what might, she, she, she may, she may be listening, uh, Paul, right now. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Paul, Paul, when you say abnormally, you mean extra, like you've been meeting a lot is what you're saying, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. All okay. Right. What What's your question? You want to know if it's going to go to the, you know, go the distance, or what's uh, is that what you want to know? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. Is there is there a future in store for uh, maybe that friendship? Yeah. yeah good... The first, the ten of cups comes in, and that's like this family having a picnic. There's even the 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 family cat laying there. It's like a beautiful day, and the, it's just lovely. It feels like um, also. The six of cups comes in. You're giving her a bouquet of flowers. Um, did what did you do for her for Valentine's? Uh, we have just uh, been messaging each other so far. So just oh, wishing okay. each other good. Well, vibes. yeah. Um, are you gonna you know brighten her a little poem or something, a little haiku maybe? Ooh, <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Give a little extra bit, but um, it looks very good. It looks like you guys have actually. It looks like you guys have a lot in common, even money wise and investment wise, and thoughts for the future and thoughts about what you do. You both have a little bit of an entrepreneurial spirit, even if you have regular jobs. You're both capable of doing something together. Um, I like this union, but take a breather. Don't push it too fast. Um, it sounds like you're you're really fast tracking it, but but just take a breath and don't. Um, jump too far to the future, take every day as it comes and really enjoy the, the getting to know each other. So it looks good. Paul. Yeah. Paul, I'm going to translate. Be smooth. <laughs> yeah. Be smooth. <laughs> Happy Valentine's day, Paul. Martha Peace loves haikus. Brother. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be smooth. Thank you for that. So we are Marla. I'm keeping a tally here. We're 50, 50 with women and men tonight. I, mean, oh, I, I, I remember. It. I love it when men call in. Yeah, the last couple of years, it it was it was a lot of women, and I, I and I always brought that question up to you. You know, is this unusual that it's it, it is it because men um, are are trying to be macho, right? That they they they're not going to lay it out and ask uh, uh, you know relationship questions. They like to 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 be in control, and they don't. Want, but, well, as far as read, readings and the magical stuff in in general, women were more connected to our intuitive side. We're we're just that's the way we are. We're th that goddess energy. We're connected to the moon and and all of that. And so we have that intuition that we're open to. Where the men can be more analytical, and it's hard to some men. It's hard for them to wrap their brain around. Uh, is this real? Is this how can this be? How can you really be talking to spirit guides or angels and they right, are right. channeling and all this? Now your audience, of course, is different. They're into all of that and they're more open right. so the guys are calling in but like i'm on two psychic hotlines um i do that part-time which i love and it would be not yet you know pretty much 99.9 percent .9 is our women calling me right yeah. right and um you you brought up and and caller uh, and everybody listening around right stay right there I, I i'll get to you in just a second um i have been talking about because i've been watching uh, a couple of uh things on on you know Netflix and Amazon about you know dating apps and 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 this world that exists. So I'm talking to people out there, and I br people brought this up to me at Conscious Life Expo um, because they heard me speaking about this. And everybody is on dating apps these days. Everybody. Yeah. I mean that it, it's a world that they accept and embrace now. Where I think that it was taboo in in the '90s and in the 2000s, it it wasn't like it is now, where it is it's the norm, and and people are okay with uh, going to dating apps, aren't they? Yeah, uh, when I was more starting out in matchmaking, and even like yeah, two thousand even seven, eight, nine, and stuff, it was like, ooh, are those dating apps just for losers? Or you know, like, uh, but right. no, it's, yeah, people yeah. just yeah started. They were embarrassed about it, but now it's it's like that is how you're connecting with people. Um, there's no shame in it. It's it's we're all online, and I think it's really fun. I think you just have to kind of do it right, though. And there are people trolls out there. There are catfishers, and you, I've known women who have sent money to men. 
thousands of dollars because they got tricked and stuff. So you really want to have your wits about it. If something seems too good to be true, uh, you know, if you're a 60 year old woman and like a 35 year old a GQ model is saying, you know, I, I'm in love with you, but I need some money to fly to you to see you, you know, it's probably, you know, it's not really, you know, you got to get it, get real, but you know, but, but it's in general, I think it's, it's a great option. I've known a lot of people who've gotten married from uh, online sites and then matchmaking, of course, so you might want to go that traditional route. Um, it's an option for certain people, not for everybody. I, I, you know, they can be very expensive. And so you really got to see if that's a fit for you. Yeah. Let's go back to the phones. Hi, you're live on fade to black. Who's calling? Hey, hey, Jimmy and Marla, guess who's here? Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm supposed to guess? Oh, oh, well, that voice sounds, sounds familiar. Oh, okay, <laughs> who's who's calling? Who is it? Who is it? Hi, what guys, is it? it's Karen. Karen? Karen! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we Surprise! <tried>. Me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. I, I, right now, I'm flipping out. So uh, well, why not? My gal you know, pal, hey, we all love love, my gal right? Pal Karen Dolman. So so hey, hey. And, and this is the thing. Normally, it's the three of us tearing it up together. Right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was not the same uh, without Karen at the Conscious Life Expo this year. Because usually, you guys, uh, Karen and I go every year together, and we just go berserk and have the best time. But she, Karen, uh, you know, she was out of town. She she wasn't here yeah, this year. Yeah, and 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 Karen, uh, when she hit me up. Uh, I was so bummed out uh, because we had long conversations uh, text uh, uh, about the Conscious Life Expo. And then she said, you know what, I'm not I'm not going to be there. I was fully bummed. But Karen, we love you. Now, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Karen's calling (laughs) in tonight on Valentine's Day. So Karen's got, this is great, Marla. I want to know what's up. Uh, okay. Hey, Karen. Yeah, me too. Hey, Look, Karen. Everybody wants love, right? Everybody wants love and needs mm-hmm. love. <laughs> I, gotta, I got I I got. to know, what's, Car- what's Karen's uh, relationship question for, for Marla? <laughs> she, I oh, think she probably just yeah. called in to say well, hello, right, listen. Karen? <laughs> You know, Marla, you know, I never ask you yeah. for readings. I never ask her for readings. We we're friends, and she doesn't ask me either. But this is an opportunity. I thought to call in with Jimmy Church and say, hey, Yo. what's in the cards for me? Let's go. All right. I'm just going to take a look. Now, do you want to p- focus on romance, or do you want a general? No, it's romance. It's oh, romance no, no, with no, Karen. No, romance. Yeah. I, 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 romance, yeah, baby. All right. Wrong. Hey, Karen, she just, <laughs> okay, hey, Karen, we go. Karen, she took out another deck. I'm just letting you know. Wait, I'm getting I, that, I wait, I'm getting my witch for deck out for Karen. This has got to be full on <laughs> powerhouse charged up. Like, man, I miss Karen. I, I miss Karen so much, man. I miss Karen. Uh, I miss you guys okay. so much too. And by the way, I miss all of Fade to Black too, you guys. I love everybody out there. Oh, right on. Oh, Karen, Ace of Cups right away. New beginnings, new love. This is amazing. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles, new begin, new, 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 new. Now, this is interesting because we've got the tower, the old things falling apart, the seven of swords, which I kind of call the sneaky card and the ten of swords, swords in the back. There's been some, you are at that space now where you can smell it if somebody's not on the up and up. So you are so in tune with everything that you're not going to be going on dates that don't align with you. You are going to only go on dates that that frequency is high. And the ace of wands, we've got all these aces, all new beginnings phenomenal and um then the the three of cups celebration under the full moon with the, the three three goddesses there so um it looks good Ooh. it looks good i i think so you're going to be meeting somebody it's all and but the beginnings they're also saying not only love but work uh friendships everything it's this 2022 is the year of of for karen it's the uh, year of the karen hey karen can i ask you uh, a personal question it's just you and i it, it, nobody's oh. listening nobody's listening but but karen you you're you're uh, you're a celebrity would you are you on a dating <laughs> app and can you do that as a celebrity i guess you could i mean i love to date i, I you know hey i'm single ready to mingle guys so <laughs> now i'm here um, but no, I mean, I'm open to that. I think that's a great idea. Uh, and, and as a celebrity, um, would you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like, you, you know, you're a known person, right? 
And so would that do you think the that you would attract men that want to be not necessarily because of who you are personally but but the other side of things that they want to be around somebody that you know what I mean you know what I'm suggesting here right uh, like a Karen Dolman groupie know. is what I'm saying okay there I said it I, I totally get it because guess what if I was do, doing a day nap I would not use my real name ah, because I want people to look me up and right. see who I am and what I do and right. have a false pretense. Right. So I'd like to, and by the way, I'm on a sucky hotline with Marla too, and I have a different name. I would use that mm-hmm. name if I was dating. <laughs> we use different names different. on the hotlines. Yep. Yeah. Karen and I love doing the meetings on there. Yep. So have you, um, have you, <laughs> Karen, I got to head to a break before I say goodnight, but have you ouija your relationship? relationship questions would you do that i listen i do but the thing is this the guides aren't going to tell me they want me to figure it out myself right. they tell me it's life's not always worth work, living they want you to figure it out right right that makes a lot of sense karen dahlman called in tonight marla yeah well Thank i texted her and let her know i was on i te- i so we we're, we do this something called called Marco Polo. It's an app and you can send each other videos back and forth. So we Marco Polo each other every day. And uh, so she knew I was going to be on and, and uh, it's real magical. It's so great to have such an amazing friend as Karen. And uh, we have a lot of fun together. Yeah, she's amazing. Karen, happy Valentine's Day, young lady. Thank you. Same to you guys. Have the best night. You're the best. Hey, my, Love uh, you, Karen. Uh, Thanks. Hey, hey Karen, call Love me. You. Karen, call me tomorrow. Don't forget. Okay. I will. I'll talk to you. Karen Dahlman in the house. Wow. Karen Dahlman. All right. I need to take a break. Let's get that in. This is Fade to Black. Tonight is our Valentine's Day annual special event with Marla Martinson. We're taking your calls all night long, your readings. And also, if you can't get through, post something up right there in Twitter at hashtag F2B. I'll get it in. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. This is Fade to Black. Stay with us. Way out here, we listen to Jimmy Church. You're listening to Fade to Black. You're listening to Jimmy Church and Fade to Black on the X. ¿Qué tal, mis amigos? Yo soy Mario Carson, el tiburón. Y los invito para que escuchen mi buen amigo Jimmy Church Radio. Claro que sí. This is Jimmy Church. Jason Martell's book, Knowledge Apocalypse, 10-Year Anniversary Edition, is now available. Most ancient cultures speak of a time when their gods visited them. They never say their gods came from across the ocean or from the mountains. They always came down from the skies. Was ancient man visited by gods or extraterrestrials? We have not been told the full truth about our human past. There was a time when all the ancient cultures lived amongst beings they considered their gods. The search for truth leads us down the path of learning where the ETs might come from and why they are here. To understand some of these advanced topics and learn the truth about human origins, buy the new book from Jason Martell, Knowledge Apocalypse. Now in its 10-year anniversary edition available on Amazon.com by clicking on the banners over on our site or simply visit JasonMartell.com. That's JasonMartell.com. Do you want to be an official fade or not? Of course you do. This is Jimmy Church of Fade to Black. Just go to our membership section at jimmychurchradio.com. Fade or nots. When you think about the future of our country and where we're headed, do you wonder about the food supply? I do. Disruptions in the food supply chain could be disastrous, and they usually occur with little warning. That's why the smartest thing you can do today is to stockpile emergency food, water, and other essentials. I personally recommend My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's largest emergency preparedness company, serving millions of customers for more than a decade. In In fact, they're the only source my family trusts for our preparedness plan. You should too. Right now, save 20% off a full four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 calories a day. Saving 20% helps too, doesn't it? 
especially now. So go to preparewithjimmy.com and get ready. That's preparewithjimmy.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. So you love talk radio, then you'll love TalkStreamLive.com. TalkStream Live is always on 24-7 with the best streaming talk shows. Find your favorite talkers and discover some new ones. It's free, readily available online or on mobile with any smartphone or tablet. Finding your favorite talk shows all in one place has gotten a whole lot easier. Just go to TalkStreamLive.com. Be sure to download the free apps from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. You listen to us, and we listen to you. And so does the CIA. (laughs) KGRARadio.com You are listening to Fade to Black with Jimmy Church on the Game Changer Network. Oi, oi, I'm Rhys Evans. You're listening to Jimmy Church. This is revolution. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is on radio. Ciao. Welcome back. Fade to Black. I am your host, Jimmy Church. Tonight, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. This is our annual Valentine's Day special with Marla Martinson. And you can call in 747-228-2051. You can also post right there in Twitter, hashtag F2B, uh, like Nelson just did. And uh, so I'm going to jump over to Nelson real quick. And uh, Marla, Nelson says... I've been with my girl for about 10 years. We have two very young boys together. And I was wondering if if Marla sees a wedding in our future or not for him and his girl. Wow. Well, that's that's, that 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 card just jumped out of the deck. That's the one. But you put you put it back in. We have. We have jumpers that just kind of flipped around, but see, that's, this is kind of more of a free, free will kind of, th- I mean, Nelson, are you going to propose? I mean, what's, what do you take 10 years? I mean, what's the holdup? Well, here? See, let's look at the card. The yeah, energy yeah, yeah, it. yeah. The what's, pressure's on Marla on yeah, you right now. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to look, Oh, the lo- lover's card comes right out. It just popped out of the deck. I saw it happen it too. Out. Flew out. And I think, I think, yes, I think it looks like I'm getting Greek. I don't know if you've ever think about going to Greece or Greek Island or something, or maybe Mexican Riviera. There's something there that where you're going to go and you're going to have a romantic time and maybe propose. Um, I think it, it looks good. And the ace of cups. Yes. Love renew that those um, you've been together for a while now have a kind of a renewal, do something fresh and fun. Do maybe go for a couple's massage, go get a makeover, go do something wild and crazy, jump out of the airplane, you know, on with a parachute or something and uh, go on a trip and make something really romantic and, and, uh, and do that proposal. If, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a woman said to me, Marla, okay, let's go jump out of a plane together. <laughs> ah, man, I, would you do that? Would you do it? Uh, I personally would never do it. I won't do, uh, what do you call it? Underneath the water, the uh, scuba diving. Right. I won't do that. I'm too afraid. You know, my lungs could explode. I uh, I wouldn't jump out of a plane. I, I don't like, I like to stay right on the ground. And I do my astral traveling at night. I go to uh, other dimensions, I'm right uh, mushroom with you. journeys. I'm right you know, with I'll you. do, I'll travel out of the body, but I'm not going to take this physical body and up in the air and crash it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bungee jumping you know what no. i'm cool on the ground i'll watch you i'll videotape for you hand me your cell phone i'll be that guy but uh yeah i keep my feet on terra firma uh, i think i think that's a good way to go all right there you go nelson get her done quit get quit done, goofing baby. around 
Quit goofing around, Nelson. That's on you now. Okay, let's go back to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? You're live. Three, two, one. You've got to. You've got to be ready. I'm gonna. I, I hate to do this. All right, boom. You got to be ready, folks. You got to be ready. Somebody just, you know, went uh, to. Uh, uh, you know, I've been on. Somebody hold- went to go get a beer. Yeah, I've know? been on hold for a while, and uh, yeah. I'm going to go get a bite to eat, and then I'll be back. Right. And uh, hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Uh oh, could this be me? Hold on for a second. Let me let me try something here, Marla. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Okay, now that's weird. That's two calls in a row. Huh. Now now I'm wondering if it's me. Okay, let's go to uh, the next caller. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. That's weird. Man, maybe it's me. And, uh, oh. It's a full moon, Jimmy. It's a full yeah, moon. Yeah, I'm, 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 watching, I'm watching what's going on here uh, with the phones. Okay. All right, I'm putting you on hold. You stay right there. Okay, let me go back. And uh, let's try here. All right. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Hey, Jimmy, it's Aaron from Connecticut. It's it's who from Connecticut? Aaron from Connecticut. Aaron from Connecticut. Um, All right. Aaron, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, man. Um, I called, and I don't want to give too much information. Hi, Marla. Um, Hi. I, I met my fiance in this YouTube sandbox, and I had, I had called you a while back. I think it was Thanksgiving. Okay. And so I was just curious as to if she has any input for me. Okay, wait a minute. On, so uh, you met you met your current partner through Fade to Black. Yep. Wow. All because of you, Jimmy. Ah, the, see, Marla? Oh, Jimmy, you're a matchmaker. I'm you're the, Cupid. I'm the matchmaker. The matchmaker. Yep. All right, Aaron. Aaron wants to know what's going on with... Uh, well, what's the What's the exact question, Aaron? Okay, so so because of circumstances, she's from Illinois and she's there right now, and I'm in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. So just trying to see when we're going to actually be able to move in together with you know the circumstances and and stuff. That oh, we have you going on. you guys are ready to take this to the next level. Oh yeah, of course. Oh man, through through fade to black. Oh that is man, so that's beautiful. All kinds of oh, yeah. that is so freaking paranormal i love it all right you know what uh marla as you shuffle she's shuffling the cards aaron um i actually had dexter on this show from australia live on video propose marriage and she said yes yeah and she said yes live on the air that was one of the coolest (laughs) nights ever you should have seen her face what and uh happened live on the yeah so i guess uh the, aaron this is great because i've got the the travel card here moving uh the eight of wands you are one of you is going to move the wish card comes in the knight of cups the ace of cups cups is all emotion it's all love and i just see that marriage i see you having having a beautiful marriage one of those beautiful like fountains with uh the, you know you're putting the cake in each other's mouth um it's going to be really nice. And I see that both of you have like this sweetness of family, that good family um, on both sides. The victory card comes in. The empress, she's just a doll. I see her really making a nice home and liking family. Um, it's just going to be the strength card comes in. So you're going to have to sit down and kind of have a little, you know, powwow there. With who's going to move where? And you, you can make it happen, though. I think the, the logistics of it um, is just going to take some strategic um you know, movements there, but it's definitely going to happen. Uh, and I'm so excited for you and congratulations. And that is so, I mean, the fact that you met in the sandbox is just so, so cool. Now, um, yeah, it's is, so, is, so is, awesome. Aaron, is she in the sandbox right now? I, I, you know what? She was laying down. I told her to listen. So I was going to call in. Um, and what Marla just said though, she's going to be coming to see me on the 24th of February you know, in a couple of weeks. Right. And mm-hmm. we're going to, we were going to talk about which, how we're going to do the pros and cons of moving with either spot. And she just told me that. So, 
or, or Marla mm-hmm. just said that. So that's so awesome. And wow. she is a doll. I love her. And it's unbelievable. And it's because of Fade to Black, we met. So Wow, that is fantastic, man. And uh, does does the rest of the Sandbox, do they know about the both of you? I don't know, but her name's Bridget. And she's been in the Sandbox as well before. So Okay. All right. I, I love this. This yes, is I'm great. Sure. Right outside Chicago. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right, Aaron, you've got to uh, you've got to keep us all posted, man. This is great. I will, Jimmy, and thank you, Marlon. Thank you, Jimmy, because, you know, it, it wasn't all because of you. Ah, man. And, and a one in a million chance of us both being in the sandbox that particular night. That's what I'm talking yeah. about right there, man. And yeah. and responding yeah. to the universe when it's right in front of you. Right. Right? And re- real quick, for a, for a Valentine's gift for both of us, I got a brand new telescope for us to use when, when she comes. Oh, that's what I'm talking oh. about, man. Oh. Yes. Oh, man, I'm all warm and fuzzy, Aaron. Thank you for the phone call. Well, Happy awesome Valentine's Day to you and Bridget, man. That is really cool. Good. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys, too. Appreciate it. Bye. Fade to black. Fade to black. That's what I'm talking about. Right there, Marla. Oh, you're doing God's work there, Jimmy. Man, oh, I, I don't know about all that, but I'm still feeling pretty special. I'm feeling pretty special. All right. That's uh, that's really cool. Congratulations, you two. And uh, I was going to jump over to the sandbox to see what's going on to see if uh, if um, if they knew, right? But apparently they don't. See, that's the other thing. The sandbox... Uh, I had said uh, right before the show tonight, I was over in the sandbox. I said, this is a family here. Everybody checking in. I love this. And so I guess that's what's going on in the sandbox, too. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Okay. Little Uh, little dating app. All right. Let's go back to the phone. (laughs) Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Hi. Hi. Yeah, you're live. Who's calling? Hi, this is Alice. Can you hear me? Uh, I can barely hear you. Did you say Allison? I was wondering whether or not to say my name. I don't know what's happening, Jimmy. I see you on the screen, but I'm hearing you not as you're speaking. But, um, yeah, don't look at the screen. My real name is Isis Astoria. I'm high priestess on the planet. Okay. And and what's your Valentine's Day question? My Valentine's question. Uh, uh, you're bright. Yeah, I'm having issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to talk to me. Don't look at the screen. Don't, okay, uh, d- I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, just talk my, to me. My, I have. Okay, I have another name. My. My name is Isis Astoria. I am high priestess on the planet. Okay. I, What's your question? I'm not. I'm talking to you, Jimmy. <laughs> yes, you are. And uh, you're also okay. talking to Marla, Isis, so high priestess of Mar- the earth. Marla, <laughs> yeah. uh, Cobra, Cobra killed me, and I'm not dead. I. I am Isis Astoria. Okay. I'm under hypnosis. Okay. <laughs> okay. You've got my attention now for sure. Yes. You're calling while you're under hypnosis. This is very interesting. I, I am not dead. Okay. I'm under hypnosis. I got you. And 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 yeah. this, and, and, and you want a date. What's your what's your relationship question, Isis Astoria? I want to know where the hell I'm going to go with Cobra because he has me under hypnosis to hide me. Uh, okay. Um, this is interesting. Okay. So I guess, I guess what Isis uh, Astoria said is that Cobra has her under hypnosis. What's going to happen? Cobra. Now, I don't know if this is a code uh, word yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know either. a man or love. But I do have the King of Cups that have has come in, and um, that is love. And I think that might be that might be Cobra. I see that the 
the uh, the Six of Swords coming in. That's uh, moving away from something old into something new. I feel like that hypnosis is going to be broken. The sun comes out, and you're going to have some big realizations after being under this kind of hypnotic spell. And uh, you're going to uh, move to some new energies as that high priestess on the planet. So I wish you all the best with that, um, Isis Astoria. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Thank you, Isis. And happy Isis Astoria. And happy Valentine's Day. Jimmy, I sent you a personal letter to your home. Okay, you did? Yes, I did. It's your first letters of your address is four zero. Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not announcing that kind of stuff on the air, but I will look for it. Okay. Nope, I didn't say anything else. I just wanted you to know. Okay. All right. I'll okay. check it out. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. I still didn't hear what she said to me, but that's okay because I'm hearing like five different voices. <laughs> I bet you are, and you gotta you gotta <laughs> fi- you gotta figure that out. Thank you, Isis. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I'll say this: I love Fade to Black. <laughs> Uh, that was phenomenal. That was one of the most unique calls I've had. So I'll say oh, that. Oh, man. She Good. sent me a personal Jeez. letter. All right. Now I've got to figure that out. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. So we've got uh, we've got uh, the uh, Fade to Black dating app now, which is apparently up and running, which is called The Sandbox. And uh, with that, let's go back to the phones. <laughs> Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Howdy, it's Betty Joe from Wyoming. Hi, Betty Joe from Wyoming. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, thank you. First time caller, uh, one one year anniversary listener. Yeah, right Heartbreak on. Heartbreak led me to your show. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> All right, Betty Joe. I don't know. I just, the Facebook God just like threw it in front of me and I'm like, whoa. And I just found it and just kind of been sticking with you. Yeah. Thank you for that, Betty Joe. Happy Valentine's Day. What's your question for Marla tonight? You know, 62, I, you know, back when I was 61, I was like 61 and done, but you know, I still tried it again and fell off the horse pretty hard this last two years. So I was just like feeling like 62. I don't know if I should just be done or should I open back up to love or just, you know, I don't know. 62. Should Betty Joe open <laughs> back up to love? All right. I'm going to pull yeah. some cards, but I want you to tell me, Betty Joe, what is it? Uh, just sink down into the heart chakra. Maybe even put your hand over your heart and take a deep breath. And you tell me, are you done with love? It's the sound of your voice, your energy, your energetic imprint to me sounds like you're not. But what do you think? You know, I would love to love, but then again, I would hate to hurt again. So there's that. Yeah, the heartbreak. So we've got the three of swords comes in, and that's literally a, a heart with three daggers in it. And that's that that hurt. But guess what? On the either side of that, we've got the knight of cups, your knight coming in, who's offering you a cup of hearts, and we've got the ace of cups, new love. And so um, the hermit card comes in. Just keep doing some of that clearing, some of that personal work, um, um, healing work. But you know, while you're in this body on the planet, we're here a short time. We're meant to experience and to love not to shield ourselves from afraid of getting hurt you know go play in the mud go play in the sandbox go eat you know eat the chocolate go on those adventures um if somebody that if, if it comes again some kind of juicy just delicious yeah hunk of man just grab onto him you know just have some fun <laughs> betty joe go for it and the ace of pentacles all new beginnings you are not done i'll tell you that sister there you go, Betty oh, Joe. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. awesome. That's, that, that's a great Valentine's Day reading right there. Hey, hey Yes, Be- yes, hey, that was beautiful. Hey, Betty Joe, it's time to get yes. it done. It's time to get it done. Get it done at 62. Okay. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> get, it, get it done. Yeah, I got to rhyme longer, with that. You know? think of something. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Betty Joe. You know, and uh, yep. happy I'm Valentine's Day. I'm halfway there. Hell. Happy, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Last, you. Bye-bye. That's a great phone call right there. Um, and uh, I oh, like Karen it. Dahlman, because she's saying, let's pick a word that Marla or Jimmy says and then make a Valentine's cheer. Oh, oh interesting. 
And pick a word. Karen, what do you have in mind? Pick yeah. a word that Marla or Jimmy says, and then we make a cheer. So maybe we say, uh, Cupid, and then we say, yeah, cheers. Oh, okay. Should it be Cupid? Does does or, it have to be valentines -y? Well, Whatever you want. Maybe she, uh, She's got some magic going on. Dark she, she, yeah, she's doing something over there. She needs a word. <laughs> okay, so what should the word be? Okay, you know what? I'm going to divert to Twitter. Twitter. What is the word that Marla and I should? Or I guess we're gonna shout it out, say it together, mm -hmm. and then Karen. We'll say it, and then Karen's gonna do her thing. Okay, all right. I'm gonna divert that over to Twitter, you fader knots, and uh, get back to us. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Hey, Jimmy. This is Dave at Large. Hey, Dave at Large. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Right on. And uh, happy Valentine's Day, my man. Thank you. Same to you. Uh, what's your question for Marla tonight? I got an old flame that's come back in my life. Ooh. And it's quite a long shot to make this thing work out. Right. There's all kinds of obstacles in the way. Right. Is it worth pursuing? Yeah, that's a, that's a direct question. Yeah. Okay, Marla. Right. Old, old flame, perfect. old flame is old back flame. in Dave's life. Oh, Dave, 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 you know what? Have fun with this. This is um, j just the fool card comes in and that's that ch childlike uh, delight. And, and the guides are coming in to say to everybody, you know, with this two years of difficulties we've had, start playing more, whether that's putting on some 70s music and dancing or whether that's, you know, baking some cookies or a pie with somebody. I mean, they're just saying get back into um, into that. Um, the sun comes out. It, it can start. It's starting a little rocky, but um, it, it looks like they're, you're going to learn. The justice card comes in. You know what? This is a learning thing for you. This is kind of karma. This person's been in your past life and they're coming back around. Um, I don't know if it'll last forever, but the Ace of Cups comes in, so they're saying enjoy the juiciness of it. Enjoy that uh, specialness of this connection, and then you're going to see where it goes. They're not showing me exactly where this is going, but it's um, it can go where you want to take it, but but just have fun with it for now. This is a live in the moment, and they're saying just live in the moment. They're also showing me a truck. I don't know if you have a truck or you know somebody with a truck, but they're showing me a truck, and... Um, there's a there's a panther a spirit guide that's with you. Wow. Hey Dave, you're up on all of this stuff. I, I'm just gonna. Do you have a truck? I do not have a truck. Okay. All right. Maybe Ooh. she's gonna come in a pickup and just come up to you know come, <laughs> oh, come pick you man. up. Used to have one. Used to have one. Yeah. Used, to have, used to have a truck. Okay. Well, yeah. that truck is mm -hmm. still energetically imprinted with you. <laughs> well, see, Dave. Dave knows how all of this goes and how ha and how yeah. this works, and he's going to listen to you, Marla. And and Dave, okay. I, you're going to do this anyway, but keep me posted, okay? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Got a Jaguar spirit working on it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Panther. <laughs> Panther. 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 Panther spirit. Rawr. Okay. Hey, Dave. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day, man. Thank you. Face of black. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Dave. And, uh, <laughs> rawr. Um, HH, this is from Twitter. So let's get this in before the break. Hey, Jimmy, could you please ask Miss Martinson if I will ever find love? Specifically, will I be able to make a connection with the woman I like at my job? Or should I put my efforts elsewhere? That's from HH. Very specific question. He's got somebody. I get I get a lot of questions about crushes, work crushes. You mm -hmm. know, people who have crushes at work. Um, all right. So right away, I get the, the 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 Seven of Pentacles comes in. That's his job coming in, and I feel like that job is um, it's lucky for you. Um, the Hermit comes in. Really decide what you want. They're saying, you know what, um, just. You need to get specific on what you're looking for. I don't know if this crush is going to work out, but somebody is going to come in and you need to be specific on what you want because you tend to have patterns where it feels like you've had some um, relationships that were kind of dra drama filled, kind of drama filled dramas. Uh, um, but we're going to celebrate the lover's cup does come in. There is another relationship coming in for you, but you're just being warned 
to be aware of those patterns and and uh, pick wisely. I never, I never, ever, ever, I not even want. I need to really stop and think about this because I had my own rules and boundaries I set up for myself. I never had a workplace relationship. I never looked yeah. at no, no. I didn't want that. I, I, no, I always wanted the separation, right? So right. when it came to, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's just me. You know, yeah. I know that it, it's worked out for uh, uh, so many people that I know that 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 met at work, got married, and things were great. I just never did that. I never did. What about that old, like the '60s, like cliche of the? secretary, you know, marrying the boss. Yeah. You know, well, you know, or getting, them, or getting involved, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, uh, I, I guess that stuff happens, you know, I, I and, and Zen's, uh, bill says, hopefully this crush does not work in HR. That's really hitting the danger zone. Well, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, right. it's funny. Uh, bill also said earlier, does Karen Dahlman like older men? I saw that. Oh. I saw that. I saw that. Bill Karen, like, she's she's listening. She maybe she'll write it in the phone. <laughs> Karen, how high will you go, Karen? What's your t- upper limit? Oh man, Karen Dahlman's a catch. I mean, she is. She's, she's a gorgeous. catch. That's a bona fide Bill, brains you, and beauty. Yeah, Bill, you got to have your A game when it comes to Karen Dahlman. I oh, mean, yeah. you got to, you got to, you got to, <laughs> you got to get ready for that. She's a catch. Okay, let's take our break right here. More of your phone calls are next. This is our annual Valentine's Day special with Marla Martinson. Your relationship readings live on the air tonight. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Radio.com. Your one million gigawatt paranormal powerhouse, KUNX DB, VX. Are you ready to read about true paranormal events? Unex Media publishes nonfiction books about UFOs, ghosts, and haunted places, time anomalies, cryptid creatures, and more. Just like KUNXDB Radio, it's all about unexplained phenomena. Visit www.unxmedia.com to see our list of great book titles by Debbie Ziegelmeyer, Gene Walker, Devin Listrom, Wayne Lawrence, Bill Spicer, and yours truly, Margie Kay. That's unxmedia.com. Why is it we're not very good with our health regimen until it's too late? We don't put oil in the car until the engine blows up. When the body's out of balance... Your health is not so good. Give your body some love. Log on to GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. Try our Life Change Tea, which cleanses you from harmful intruders. A clean colon is one of the ways to bring the body in balance. We also carry organic supplements to help you get where you need to go. So do your body a favor. Log on to GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. You can even visit our sales page to save some dough. Uh, does anybody call money dough anymore? Anyway, if you're looking for short, helpful health tips, go to YouTube and punch in Health Matters Now. That's Health Matters Now. So, log on to GetTheTea.com, shop, get balanced, then learn some cool tips at Health Matters Now. You'll be glad you did. That's GetTheTea.com. This is Jimmy Church of Fade to Black, and I only drink Fade to Black blend coffee from River Moon. Just click on the River Moon coffee banner at jimmychurchradio.com. Promo code F2B blend. This is the only way forward. This is Fade to Black. Make contact. When you're in the house for longer periods of time, you can see them flying or running across the floor. Ooh, yuck. They're unhealthy, gross, and disgusting. Bugs. I loathe bugs. We keep a clean home, but occasionally bugs show up. Well, I found something that is tougher than bugs. Orange Guard. On contact, it kills hidden bugs, including ants, roaches, and fleas. Plus, Orange Guard is a residual repellent. 
All of the ingredients of Orange Guard are on the FDA generally recognized as safe list. Orange Guard may be used around food, humans, and pets. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Orange Guard, available at orangeguard.com, Whole Foods, and Ace Hardware. Gold loves chaos, uncertainty, and disarray. History shows us what gold does when people aren't sure, aren't sure about the government, the stock market, their jobs, or their retirement savings. Our national debt is skyrocketing. Gold and other precious metals are a defense measure against inflation and a stock market that might take years to recover. So what can you do right now to protect yourself? Call United Gold Group. We offer gold and other precious metals delivered securely within 72 hours. Are you worried about the stock market? We can also help you set up a real gold or silver IRA or a 401k. Safe and secure. United Gold Group makes gold ownership affordable. Call now and get up to $2,500 in free gold or silver with a qualified IRA. Call 800-753-8534. That's 800-753-8534 or visit unitedgoldgroup.com. You want to know a secret? I love ponies. I really love ponies. I'm serious. I couldn't stay sane without ponies to brush. Why fade to black? Because you never got that pony. Damn it. This is Fade to Black with Jimmy Church on the Game Changer Radio Network. Welcome back, Fade to Black. I am your host, Jimmy Church. And uh, I got to say, the sandbox is the place to be. You don't have to swipe right. Swipe left. Karen Dahlman's in there, uh, and uh, and Bill's getting his flirt on. I'm watching it go down, Marla. Are you watching this? Yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. I'm the matchmaker. The yes. matchmaker. So, um, <laughs> I just can't, uh, I can't uh, believe it. I, I love I love this audience. You guys are the absolute Thanks, very Monica. best. Monica. She said, Marla, you are awesome. Are you? Are you? I, I'll take that as awesome. Thank yes, you. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, um, before we get back to the calls, um, this is from Third Stone. Third Stone says, what message could I pass along? I love this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just going to, you know what, Third Stone, you posted. This is now public, so I'm just going to read it as you typed it. What message could I pass along to my brother-in-law, Randy, regarding his current relationship and the future and any decisions or actions he should take? Well, that's kind of do it. I don't have Randy's permission to re, you know, go into his relationship, but, um, you know, uh, uh, I think, I know, I think we have it. We have it um, uh, directly from her. Okay. Uh, th- this is. I think this is. We, she's legally and contractually bound through marriage, okay. so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay. So this is we're checking on what's okay. Wait, I'm can, Jimmy. Okay. Can you translate yeah, it says, that question? Uh, what message could I pass along to my brother-in-law Randy regarding his current relationship okay. and the future and any decisions or actions he oh should gosh. take? Brother-in-law of Randy. Uh, Okay. All right. Let's just pull a few cards here and see what it says. Well, the lover's card comes up, the page of wands. The actions he needs to take is, um, and the uh, Knight of Cups, being a little bit more romantic, thinking about things, surprising her um, with something. That's what I'm getting is, is uh, things are good. uh, He's got it. He's got that, that, that's uh, creativity to do it, but it's sort of taken for granted or busy and stuff goes by the wayside. Make, Ace of Cups, renewed love. So maybe a nice foot rub, you know, a little um, pancakes in the morning shaped in a heart on a Sunday. Bring in some of that fade to black, dark, rich coffee (laughs) in a mug to to, uh, breakfast and, you know, coffee in bed. Uh, Yeah. 
the yeah, way yeah. to the heart yeah. is with a cup of fade to black blend. Fade it, to black blend. That that always works. All right, let's yeah. go to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Yeah, hey, uh, this is Frank Rizzo. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You said Frank? Frank Rizzo? Yeah, Rizzo. Okay, well, let's, we can go with Frank. Frank, where are you calling from? Uh, Alabama. Alabama. Frank's calling from Alabama. Happy Valentine's Day, Frank. What's your relationship question for Marla tonight? You too, Jimmy Church. Big fan. Uh, I guess uh came into contact uh, with this female recently, and now we're trying to start a YouTube channel. Uh, we've both been involved with UFOs and paranormal investigations. I worked with the A&E channel back in 2008, and I want to know how we uh, navigate our our kids from other other parents situations and is our youtube channel going to be successful and how do we navigate this and what do you think oh wow is this a is this a romantic connection as well besides the youtube and paranormal well stuff? yeah and, and we're we're into the same stuff we're we're yeah, yeah. you know we're artist, artistically connected and but we have we have kids from other uh you right. know uh, so yeah how do we navigate this is this going to work uh, you, you see what i'm saying yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the lovers card comes in, and the world. Also, the the uh, the eight of of wands, which is often travel and looking out on the landscape. Um, the chariot comes in. I see you navigating this any way you want. You don't have to be in the same um, house or town even to do a YouTube channel together. Karen Dahlman and I did like about sixty five to seventy videos a series called the women of Ouija and she did it from where she was I did it from mine you know you beam in like uh you know a Star Trek there on on Zoom or whatever and and you do you can do your channel from anywhere um but I see uh the kids it's are they quite young Frank are uh, the kids yeah, young? three and five three yeah. and five yeah. so you know that's that's a channel a challenge navigating that, but um, I do see that you guys really this is you're going to find a way because this was this is just you don't always find somebody that's into the UFO stuff and all of that you know um, when you find somebody that you really click on that level that's so much fun. There's so many couples that I hear they don't connect they don't you know the man be the man's not into what the woman's into or whatever or the spiritual endeavors or the paranormal stuff and it can really be a contentious thing so i think this is kind of special and just cultivate it the best way you can but yeah i think do that youtube channel it sounds like a blast and if you can't do it in person you guys don't need to you can do it right you video it on zoom there you Fantastic. go frank yeah yeah great advice yeah. Jimmy, right, thanks luck, a lot. Uh, you love you, love your guitars behind you. I'm a I'm a guitar player myself, and uh, Sentient Shell uh, is my is my band. So yeah, fantastic. right. Yeah, right. on. post it up in Twitter. Let me check it out. Fantastic, uh, Intergalactic Planetarium. <laughs> That's what I'm talking oh, about. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. You too, buddy. Yeah, thank you. And uh, is it, um, and I think uh, um, before we get to the next caller, I think that's a, a very interesting thing that we all face. Do we, when, when you're always looking for people with the same interest, right? And in this case, it's the paranormal and UFOs and, and, and they've, or is it, it's sometimes pretty cool to just go the exact opposite. Yeah, you know, you have to have a certain amount of things in common. You have to have everything in common. You can have different uh, things and you can go do your thing and the other person. But I think I think it's really special when you can come together and say, maybe you like the same kind of movies or you have maybe, you know, books or uh, walking in the forest, taking a hike. Um, you've got to have something where you connect. Um, otherwise, you just start start drifting apart but i think it's kind of interesting to have some different interests as well and then you can talk about it you know yeah 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 i mean i've, I've often wondered and, and i'm being very serious you know you're you're sitting across from somebody and i'm speaking metaphorically you know for the audience right and and you're on the first date do you have in in your profile ufos 
right? Mm. Right? Are you going there, or are you going to mention this uh, in dinner? You know, so what What do you like to do? Well, okay. Uh, 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 I like to go sky watching. What's that? Uh-huh. I like to go look for UFOs with my friends. Do you yeah. go th- Do you go there with somebody? Go Sasquatch, honey. So yes, I'll tell you, yes, I, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah. go squatching, okay, squatching. So so I, I matched this one, you know, couple for a date, and the, ga- and the guy calls me up the next day, and he goes, Marla, this woman... She believes that UFOs are the ones that help build the pyramids. She believes in chemtrails. She believes in, you know, she's a vegan. Can't you find somebody normal? And I was like, hey, that is normal. (laughs) To some people. And I said, chemtrails. I said, just look up. I said, what do you, you know, what do you mean? So anyway, so I was like, he was, it was hard because in Southern California, there's a lot of women into this stuff, you know, the crystals. So, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem. I think that would be cool to put that in your profile so that when you're, you don't get that reaction. It's like, they think you're a nut case, you know, don't. And I remember some. Uh, men saying, "Oh, I don't, don't want a woman to bring up astrology, at, like at the at the first date and stuff, because a lot of guys think this is hokey, but not the fade to black uh, sandbox people." So no, you know. no, not at all, not at all. No. And, and and today, UFOs now and a- aliens and ET contact and and mm-hmm. planets and this is now part of the mainstream. So yeah. it's not, I don't think it's going to sound strange. Right, 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 right. But I remember one guy said, oh, I, you know, the woman you matched me up with, it's not going to work. And I said, why? He says, well, she's a wicked, wicked. <laughs> so he didn't like that, you know. She's a wicked. Wicked, yeah. That yeah. sounds normal to me. It's, no, it sounds perfectly normal to me, but, you know, he didn't understand that. <laughs> All right, uh, call her, stay on hold. I'm going to put you on hold for just a second here. And uh, talking to Marla and things, uh, things start stacking up. So I have to, uh, I have to uh, unstack them. So uh, stay right there. I'm putting you on hold. I'm putting you on hold too as well. And you too. Okay. I've got everything unstacked momentarily. For fade to black. Hi, you're you're up next. You're live. Who's calling? Hi, yeah, this is Matt from St. Louis. How you doing? Hi, Matt from St. Louis. Lots of lots of lots of men calling into the show tonight, Marla. The this is oppo- terrific. The opposite of my prediction, uh, Matt. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. What's your question for Marla? Happy Valentine's Day to you, Jimmy and Marla. How are you? I'm fantastic. Phenomenal. It's it's yeah. Valentine's Day. It's a full moon. I've got Marla Martinson live in front of me. And uh, uh, I got to tell you, Matt, Marla's easy on the eyes. Oh. <laughs> She's real Well, hey, easy Jimmy, I'm out eyes. here looking at the moon right now. I got to tell you, first time caller, love you, and thank you very much. Uh, but okay. my question for Marla is very simple. Uh, I actually recently got engaged, Ooh. and my fiance and I, I have a family of teenagers and younger children, wanted to know if she thinks it's going to be a Brady Bunch scenario or if, it, or if we have things to work on. Ah. All right. I, I like that. And I can tell what generations he's from because he uses the Brady Bunch Brady as Bunch, a gauge. Yeah. We, you know what, Matt? Uh, Marla and I, before the show tonight, we were talking about the Brady Bunch. We yes. actually talked about the Brady Bunch before the show. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, that's, uh, that's a true story. Okay. So, Matt, Matt, does your fiance have – it's fiance, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh, Does she Christmas. have, is her ex uh, any uh, kind of a, a challenging or anything difficult? Is there some kind of difficulty there? Uh, not really. Okay. No. Okay. 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 My so that's is. good. I, I just, it's just like the, the, the devil card comes in and the death card comes in. So that's like, it could be an obstacle. Somebody put throwing a wrench into something or somebody jealous or something there. So watch for that. That would be my um, ex. Yes, that would be correct. Yeah, he said his ex. That's his ex. Oh, your ex. Okay, somebody's ex. There's a pop. Okay, got it. So that's your ex. Okay, so watch for that. That's the, the energetically this person is 
um, because I got both the devil and the death card that this person's kind of shooting darts out of her eyeballs, you know? Okay. So, so, um, but so just have, you send massive, you want to heal this and let's ask Archangel Michael to come in and clear any energetic cords between you and your ex and start and clear that, clear that and, and wear, maybe wear some black tourmaline, um, bring in beautiful golden light around you and, um, d- uh, just send lo- massive love to her. The world comes in and the temperance card. Yeah, just be patient. I think this is going to work out. You're a very uh, good family man, a very heartfelt, a centered guy. But then the tower comes in. Yeah, this X, just do some energetic work there for that. But it looks like um, it's it's going to work out as long as you keep your frequency up and keep your heart open and you two will, will make it. You're going to be a team and make this work. There you go, okay. Matt. Yeah. Happy, happy yeah. Valentine's Thank Day. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You are so welcome. Now, yeah, and if anybody doesn't get a reading, you know, you can go to my website, MarlaMartinson.com, and you can order a reading there, contact me, um, and I'll be happy to, because, you know, we don't get to everybody. There you go. Enjoy your night under the stars on Valentine's Day in, in, in St. Louis, Matt. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jimmy. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Yeah, right on, man. Really appreciate that. And uh, I had a comment. Oh, no. <laughs> Betty Joe, who called in earlier, uh, yeah. just posted this GIF. Uh, it, it, it's really, do you believe in aliens? Right? It's a date. Oh, okay. <laughs> These two people yeah, yeah. on a date. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've thought about that. You know, what do you do? You know, you're discussing your genuine interest, right? Okay. Well, everybody's going to say walks on the beach. And, yeah. and okay, whatever, you know, that the, the normal things that we all enjoy. But what about the stuff that that makes you you? You know, like you said, squatching. I love that. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I love that. And do you do you go there? You know what? I think you do because you've got to be you. You're not going to give up the things that you love because somebody else doesn't like it. So either they accept you for who you are and you accept them right. or it's not a fit because trying to change somebody or squash them down, um, you know, uh, it won't, it won't work. So just be true to yourself and, uh, you know, you want to, uh, be flexible and try some, maybe try something, maybe, Hey, if you're dating a guy and he likes squatching and you'd think, Ooh, that's weird. Give it a shot or, you know, bird watching, whatever. Say, okay, I'll try that one time with you. Um, be a little flexible, but, um, yeah, squatching, yeah, just, I mean, squatching is fun. Sky yeah. watching is fun. Hanging out. You don't even have to see anything. In you're the forest uh, looking for fairies yes, or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. You know what? Uh, what, what would and you, you call? had, you saw, you had a fairy experience at, at, uh, the Gillian ranch. Right? I did. Said he, I did. I, at 100% I did. Story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm secure in my manhood. I don't mind talking yeah. about fairies now. Um, mm-hmm. uh, how do I say this in, in, I think that just like most men and I'm not stereotyping here, they are not going to to talk about fairies. They're not going to talk about Tinkerbell. They're just not <laughs> going to do it. Or angels. Or, but, well, but but when Tinkerbell comes into your life, yeah. you, you will talk about it because it is such a unique experience. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really true. And if somebody said to me and, and call her, stay right there. You're up next. Um, if 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 a woman said to me, or if a man said this to a if, you know a woman's into squatching, or you know, but if somebody said to me, you know what, it's either it's either me or your squatching buddies, uh, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. If that came down, I guess it's me and my squatching buddies, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, if somebody said to me, you can't go to your channeling circle anymore. You got to give up your tarot cards. Right. You can't play. You can't sleep with crystals anymore. That, that ain't gonna It'd work. Be like, okay, well, adios. Uh, adios. Adios. <laughs> Crystal staying under my pillow, pal. That's it, right. It's not getting moved. Let's go back to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? You're live. Hello? Yes, you're live. Okay. Um, yeah, this is Jason from Vegas. Hey, Jason from Vegas. Happy Valentine's Day. Say hi to Marla. How you doing, Marla? Hi, Jason. Great to uh, talk to you tonight. What, what can I help you with? What's your question? 
Um, I just have relationship issues. Um, just um, uh, I don't know, I just have a question if. I just feel like my girlfriend is not maybe being truthful to me. And I just wonder if anything you can tell me about that. How okay. long have you been uh, dating her? Like 10 years. 10 oh, years? Goodness. Do you guys live together? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Now, okay. And, for, and for, for Jason to take the time to call into this show, Marla, it's like yeah. a big deal. It's a big deal. Oh. 10 years. And he's feeling yeah. like something right. isn't quite right. What do the well, cards say? It's interesting because the cards are really great. And I, the lover's card comes in. And I'm wondering if there's somebody else in your energy field. Because, Jason, if you feel that and your energy feels very low tonight, it feels like there's some sadness in your heart. There's some heaviness. And there's some kind of energetic clearing that you need to do. Maybe you can get some energy work or something. But I would ask you, if you... Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and sink down into that heart chakra, and you ask, is my girlfriend, uh, something's not right as she's not being honest, and then you tell me what you hear. Jason? Yeah, I'm doing that. Right so, on. Yeah, right. right on. Ah, so I think, so, you know, the answer, um, and if you ask and I, and, uh, if somebody c asks that question, it's usually cause they already know, but at the same time, so it may be time to have this relationship, um, uh, moving out. There's something coming in phenomenal for you. We've got the 10 of cups. We've got the 10 of cups again from another deck, the wish card, the lover's card. So if you don't, may, you've got to have open communication with her, maybe get some counseling, really sit down and say, okay, what are we doing here? Let's communicate. Let's talk. If that is not satisfying to you, if you're not trusting, cut that loose. It's easier said than done, but cut it loose because something really good is coming in for you. There like, you go, really, Jason. Really good. There okay. You, there you go. Uh, cool. Yeah. And, and hey, hey, Jason. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. You're yeah. in Las you're in Las Vegas, man. You're in the romantic city of the entire planet. Las Vegas, right? Yeah. 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 Go get her done. Yeah, you you have to her too. Yeah, they are. Right now. As you're talking to me, something's outside right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> have a good night, Jason. Thank you so much and happy Valentine's Day. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. That's a that's a great phone call. I'm with you on that though, Marla. Um, he knows the answer. He knows he the knows answer. He knows the answer, and it's not good communication between them. I mean, ten years. So sometimes people will they'll call me on the hotline or something and say, "What is he thinking? What is going?" You know, no, you have to take the bull by the horns, and uh, people are afraid sometimes to sit down and say, "Hey, listen, we need to have some open communication here and and heart to heart talk." And if they're shut down right. and they won't do it, then there's a, there's you know obviously a problem. Yeah, and you're right though. He knows the answer. He just needs to hear it from you for yeah, yeah for support. Yeah because right. he he already knows the the right play he does yes. he does he does whatever that play is he you're yeah. absolutely right he knows the answer he just needed to hear from you all right one more call before the break hi you're live on fade to black who's calling hey hey jimmy happy valentine's day to everyone this is clint from georgia hey clint uh, from georgia talking to you for, for years you know um the kid with the picture of billy joe and everything i have a real thing about this um I was read my tarot card one time in my life, took it so seriously because I was like, you know, like a doctor, like your friend there on the phone, it reminds me of a doctor having to come in and tell you life or death subjects, like if you know you're going to live this long or something like that. Like some people take it, you, you can, if, if you I cared about it so much, I actually been living uh, what the cards were read. And um, I have a question and I trust like the answer I was given in my cards. Um, there's a tower card and it was mentioned like, I'm, um, uh, you know how you build a cocoon through these three cards you laid out. Um, there's one and then three and then one. And the three was like, it's going to be a long process. And the way she, this girl explained it, 
it was like a doctor explaining to me when my grandfather, you know, was passing away and like, you know, we got so much to live. And she mentioned to me, you know, you're going to build like a cocoon, like a, a caterpillar, right? I did not know that the like, caterpillars, they, they die, come back or, you know, as with wings. And I'm going through that. Um, and does that sound familiar to, to your friend at all? But, but you got to, you, you relive and then you got to break out of that cocoon that protects you from what you're going through. And it's like a long journey, but there's a tower card involved in that. And um, you're going through metamorphosis. So the tower, you know, and things break up, falling down, breaking apart, old paradigms. And then you're going to be coming, um, uh, coming, coming out of the cocoon as, as a butterfly. And uh, that cocoon period uh, you're in there like the hermit, like the hermit card, and you're 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 healing, you're getting your downloads, your information, all of that, and then you're ready to burst out. And it feels like um, you have some uh, healing abilities too that that uh, you can help people. There's an outreach, and I don't know if you help ever feed the homeless girl, or you do things, but there's girl, something there. Uh, excuse me, girl, all around me. I appreciate that so much. Metamorphosis. This is the word. And I yeah. called Jimmy throughout the year and things have happened to me. Like I've been the company. I've, as long as it's good for me, but I want it like all my heart and it won't hurt others. Like I've just had it. If I have, thank you. I appreciate that. that You're that's welcome. Crazy. And thank you. you know, Clint. There's a, yes. Thank you, Jimmy. And uh fade to black and girl, what you just said, that's, that's, life that's real and i appreciate that so much thank you clint thank you. And, and and seriously man happy valentine's day yeah. enjoy the rest of your happy night valentine's day. Fade okay to much black. love fade Bye. to black clint thank you so much my man and uh th- that's that's very interesting um uh, all of it where he's had one reading right one but it played out right yeah. and and yeah. and when he was saying cocoon, which I also loved, and and you said metamorphosis, uh, caller, I'm putting you on hold, um, and you said metamorphosis, he said, that's it. That's exactly it. That's the word. That's mm-hmm. the word. All right. Uh, we're going to head into overtime next. It is our Valentine's Day special event. We do this every year with Marla Martinson. It's your card readings all night long. If you have anything you can't get through on the phone lines, post it up right there on Twitter. Hashtag F2B or hashtag F2BQ. I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. More with Marla and your phone calls right after this short break. Stay with us. This is Fade to Black. to Jimmy Church and Fade to Black on the X. Hey, what up, y'all? It's your girl Vivica Fox here, and you are listening to my boy, Jimmy Church, on jimmychurchradio.com. Despite popular opinion, reading a book will not make you smarter. But listening to Jimmy Church will. This is Jimmy Church. Jason Martell's book, Knowledge Apocalypse, 10-Year Anniversary Edition, is now available. Most ancient cultures speak of a time when their gods visited them. They never say their gods came from across the ocean or from the mountains. They always came down from the skies. Was ancient man visited by gods or extraterrestrials? We have not been told the full truth about our human past. There was a time when all the ancient cultures lived amongst beings they considered their gods. The search for truth leads us down the path of learning where the ETs might come from and why they are here. 
To understand some of these advanced topics and learn the truth about human origins, buy the new book from Jason Martell, Knowledge Apocalypse. Now in its 10-year anniversary edition available on Amazon.com by clicking on the banners over on our site or simply visit JasonMartell.com. That's JasonMartell.com. This is Jimmy Church of Fade to Black, and I take Life Change Tea supplements every single day. It's what I do. Click on their banner at jimmychurchradio.com. Are you ready to read about true paranormal events? Unex Media publishes nonfiction books about UFOs, ghosts and haunted places, time anomalies, cryptid creatures, and more. Just like KUNXDB Radio, it's all about unexplained phenomena. Visit www.unxmedia.com to see our list of great book titles by Debbie Ziegelmeyer, Gene Walker, Devin Listrom, Wayne Lawrence, Bill Spicer, and yours truly, Margie Kay. That's unxmedia.com. When you take the beans from Central America with dashes of Indonesian and African mixed in and then roast it to the dark side of fate to black, you create the ultimate brew of fringe. Introducing the fade to black blend from River Moon Coffee. Yes, River Moon's darkest customized roast was created for the love of fade to black. The alchemy of masterful roasting and smoking the beans is in every sip of this full-bodied, dark java. I need my coffee dark, deep, with distinct bittersweet chocolate highlights, just like the bunker. Leaning further into the darkness of the roast is Fade to Black Blend from River Moon Coffee. Just click on the banner at jimmychurchradio.com and use the promo code F2BBLEND for 15% off of your order today. This is Billy Carson with ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. Forbidden Knowledge TV has just reached its one-year anniversary. That's right, one year. And as a show of appreciation, we are giving all new subscribers a free 30-day trial of ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. That's 30 days to binge watch thousands of movies, documentaries, conferences, workshops, lectures, yoga classes, meditation courses, and so much more. So log on to ForbiddenKnowledge.tv from your computer or mobile device or get the Forbidden Knowledge TV app on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon, iTunes, or Google Play today and use coupon code 30 days free. That's coupon code 30 days free on ForbiddenKnowledge.tv today. Are you intrigued by Paranormal Talk Radio? You'll love the new Paranormal Radio app from TalkStream Live. You'll find a great selection of talk shows covering UFOs, ghosts, strange phenomena, and much more. Download the Paranormal Radio app now and start listening to the very best in paranormal talk entertainment, including the network you're listening to right now, the Paranormal Radio app, free in Google Play and the iOS App Store. It's not a lifestyle we chose. We were born this way. This is KJCR at JimmyChurchRadio.com. All right, welcome back. Fade to Black, I am your host, Jimmy Church. Tonight, Marla Martinson is here. Your Valentine's Day readings all night long. We have one segment left, 747-228-2051. And I will just announce uh, to everybody that was on hold, my phone system was acting funky, and and I could see it, so I reset it. So everybody that was on hold, that's that's what happened so just uh, uh, just uh, call right back, 747-228-2051. I didn't want that to go down live on the air. It's better that I reset it during the break. Okay, so one segment left, 747-228-2051. And, and Marla, you know everybody is going, read, what's, what's Jimmy's Valentine's Day reading? Read Jimmy, read Jimmy. Well, okay, so I, I wanted to do this. I will do next year. On February 14th, I will do a Valentine's reading with Marla. 
Not tonight, oh. but I'm more. I I, I want to do uh, a Jimmy reading as uh, as I wait for uh, the the phones to reset here. Um, I but but I am concerned, Marla. Okay, I have got I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got a lot of stuff going on. All of it happening at the same time. Uh, time management has uh, become an issue, and but but I guess it's this though. Um, with everything that I've got going on, um, and this isn't a general question. This is a very serious, direct question. Um, am I going to be able to manage all of this stuff and 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 make it a positive thing going through 2022? Am I going to drop the ball? Or am I going to manage to get my head straight and keep things in order uh, going through 2022 with all these different projects? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Whoa. The cards that it's got. Whoa. See, the first card is the eight of wands. It's got like, it's, it's like this tornado with all this stuff going on. Um, but the can't, I see you, the page of cups comes in and that's you and that you're there with like, like almost like a Degas or Van Gogh, you're painting this canvas. And this is like, really, you're in the prime of your life right now. Like some new, new energies has opened up for you. There's like almost a vortex and you're going to be, um, in this timeline where you can't accomplish everything you want to do. The guides are saying, really take care of yourself. Make sure you get those extra supplements. If you need to order a company that that delivers your food, that making sure you're getting real high, high density, nutritious foods and juices and stuff. So you don't have to slap together a sandwich or grab something right. So that you're really getting that and just um, really dropping into your heart, doing your, deep breathing, sleeping good. And it feels like you've got, just got this like powerhouse of uh, um, things going on and going into 2023, just really ex um, exciting stuff. And you've got the tower card, which means the old things are falling apart, anything that doesn't serve you. And you've got a lot of new fresh energy. There is some sadness there for some things that have fallen away. A lot of people have whatever's going on in your life. Some people have lost friends because of COVID or family relationships, work, different projects, whatever it is for you. There has been some things that don't, don't serve you anymore that have, have been moved out, which there's some sadness because um, humans don't like change. But but the new fresh energies that are coming in is just going to be delightful. And um, I do see you really thriving and you'll be able to do it all. That's, uh, you brought up a few uh, interesting points there. Um, one, uh, one after the other, by the way. Um, and so I'll say, say this directly. Um, I have focused on my sleeping habits. Okay. Mm. And I, I, I really have because, um, I have figured out a way to sleep through the night unmedicated, by the way. Right? Mm. Okay. So, uh, what I mean by that is, uh, not influencing uh, anything, just focusing on sleep with uh, with with the, with the quietness and without interruptions. And I have found that um, I'm getting up earlier than I ever have before, and sometimes too early. Today I got up at seven, um, and uh, but I feel so refreshed and energized now. But I've been focusing on my diet. The opposite okay. of the way that you focus on your diet, I, I'm I'm el I'm eliminating carbs and in some cases uh, totally um, for weeks at a time. This has never happened for me in the past, but I'm focusing on 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 protein and and fruit and eating correctly, um, and that has dynamically changed uh, the way that uh, I, I look at the day. Third. I have got, and, and delivered today, by the way, juices, <laughs> organic juices, and I had my first one today, um, but it's just funny that you said that, because that has absolutely been a focus, and uh, now, um, and, and fourth, and, and see, Marla and I haven't talked about this, Marla, did we talk about any no, of this? Nothing. Okay, no. uh, fourth. 
I lined up today. Now, I've got supplements. I have uh, get the tea, and I've got all the best supplements and everything, but sometimes I get lazy with it, and I have been, and we all do this. So yeah. today, on my island in front of me, I've got the four supplements that I, I take the most um, and others that I have added, but they're all right there. Why? So I can look at them. Mm-hmm. Right, so I can yeah. look at them and and take them and not have them in other rooms or scattered around or one in here in the bunker and one upstairs. You know, you know what I mean. So I lined those and I did all of I did these four things that you just mentioned uh, uh, right now. This is happening with me in real time. Um, and Con- uh, confirmation to keep it up. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. That is very, very interesting. I'm sitting here listening. I'm like, how does she know this? But, <laughs> but it's really true because I have to figure out a way to uh, keep the energy up, stay focused, and and get these things done. I like to say yes. I don't like saying no. Not only no to projects, but no to people, but also no to myself. You know what? Keep it, keep it there. Say yes. Stay energized and and follow through with what you need to follow through on. And you do that with a healthy diet, sleeping correctly, eating correctly, um, keeping your energy level up, and yeah. and and staying focused. And you just have to do. It's hard to do. It is hard to do, and we have to sometimes just have a play day where you can just okay. Today I'm just laying on laying on the couch watching a couple, you know, binge watching a show on Netflix or something. Mm-hmm. You've got we got to give ourselves that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I I work right from bed. I will if I'm feeling a little, you know, there's been some stuff going on in my life, some you know, some things that that has been difficult, challenging, and so I'll say, yeah, I'm going to work from bed. I bring my tarot cards in the bed. I bring my laptop, what I need to do, and I'll have my tea and I'll be in my sweatpants or whatever, and I will stay in the bed with my dog all day long work working from my bed and it just is comforting i do that once in a while oh man i would like to do that all the time i, <laughs> I should do i should do fade to, i should roll a bed in here <laughs> take some take some gear into the bedroom and tonight <sighs> tonight live fade to black from bed from bed oh, I, I have man. a little quick uh, story about a guy that was trying to find if she he's in his 50s and he was a composer and he wanted to meet a woman and and uh he but he had his bed i saw i went to his home because a lot of times i'll go to the men's home because i want to get to know them and see where they live and in his bed one half of the bed was this big keyboard and so he says, oh, because in the middle, in the middle of the night, I might come up with a tune and I roll over and I start playing it and, and things were cluttered and there was this and that, and there was no room for a woman in his bed. He's sleeping with his keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Where would man. she go? Where would she fit in there? I mean, what would a woman think if she walked in and saw that? Um, yeah. uh, okay. Is he going to move that? She yeah. she may not say it, but she's right. going to think it. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. All right, let's go back to the phones. <laughs> that is a, there was a, a caller stay right there. I remember, um, uh, I believe it was, I want to keep this correct. I, it was Eddie Van Halen in one of his first interviews. And I'm, a, I'm young, you know, I'm 18, whatever, 17. But um, I'm influenced by things at this age, right? And uh, so, but he says in this interview, he said, my my girlfriend is my guitar. Mm-hmm. And and that's it. And so in if a relationship happens for me and and there is a question of something here, who do you love more, me or the guitar? Oh, yeah. And 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 he's like, man, I'm 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 going with the guitar, <laughs> right? And and I always found that very interesting. Now that is a commitment as an artist, where you know that's yeah. that's it, that's the focus. But right. for somebody else, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a woman that plays uh, an instrument or you're a singer. You can't have a man come into your life and 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 stop that. Right. No. 
or right, right. Or, Especially musicians. I mean, that's the, if you're a musician, that is in your blood. That is you. You know, it's like you can't separate that. It's just that is or a painter or a sculptor a pain, right, or, a or a writer that's yeah. committed. You know, these artistic endeavors that we come in with them. We come in in the in the body with them from get, the get go. A lot of times, and, and not going to take that. Take that away. Well, I can see the well. I guess you're going to sleep with that guitar, then, bro. <laughs> That's right. I hope that keeps you warm. <laughs> I hope that keeps you warm, because I'm out of here. Let's go back to the phones. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? You're yeah, you're live. Turn me down in the background. Turn me down. Okay, this ain't working. You got to be ready. You, you, you got you know somebody right now is listening to me in the background and 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 not getting it or or running back and uh but no you got to be ready everybody you've got to be ready plus it's marla it's marla you got to be ready for marla hi you're live on fade to black who's calling hey this is uh tom from phoenix tom from phoenix i'm going to say if i go tonight and tally this up i'm saying Three quarters men tonight. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty absolutely. awesome. Yes, that's pretty it's awesome. The, and you know what? On Facebook and the fade to black uh, thing, I had put that I was you know excited to be on the show, and some guy did write. He goes, "Oh yeah, that's the show where no guys call in." Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. That's what it, somebody said that, and I said, "Oh no, we do get guys oh, yeah. calling in." You know, like Tom from Phoenix. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, Tom. Uh, yeah, same to you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's your question for Marla? Uh, I guess I've been uh, married four years to uh, Stephanie, and it's going pretty good. I just wanted to see uh, if it's going to continue going that way. Uh, Marla's going to ask you a question, Tom. You can't be that general. <laughs> okay, Marla, what's your question? See see how I just flipped that around, Tom? You like how I flipped I do. that around? Marla. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, Marla, what's your question for Tom? Yeah, see, Tom, if you're asking that question, is it going to keep going well? There's a reason that you're asking that question, right? Do you know the reason? There's some little rocky road. I, I uh, no, no, I, I, I expect it to continue to go well. I'm more looking for confirmation, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I would just say, is there a reason why it wouldn't? But I see, okay, so the, the Eight of Pentacles comes, and I see you, you're you going to have to work on this. It's it's um sometimes, so is it just going to go like um in the wind, like some leaves flying around? So relationships take some work. Uh, it's not a very sexy word, work at the relationship, but you want to put in that that um, effort, that, that um, uh, attention there. So the King of Swords comes in and they're saying, you know what, Tom, get that, um, uh, get, when's her birthday, is her birthday coming up soon? Uh, not until the summer. But the summertime, so that's coming up this summer. So you've got a few months now to get creative, surprise her um, uh, with something. Take her like on a day to, to a water park or do something really creative that she'll be goes, oh my gosh, nobody's ever done that to me before. The wish card comes in, it looks oh, like yeah, it's going to go. Like that. Sorry, go ahead, Tom. He said she would like that. No. You... Okay. What? Sorry. No, nothing, nothing. Marla, you're you're on a roll. Okay. Next. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so she, I think it's really going to be, in, she's really going to love that if you if you do something like that or surprise her with some cake with, with, let's say she's she loves fashion and you put this beautiful dress on a cake with all these flowers or just something over the top a little bit for this birthday coming up and just put in a little more um, effort. But I don't, I think it's, uh, it looks like it's going to be going along just fine, Tom. And I think, and then the guides are saying Tom's a good guy and, um, yeah, and doing some more. I feel like there's some things that you guys like to do separate, but you're going to find some more commonalities even to do together. And and I think I see you guys cooking in the kitchen together, doing something with cooking or, or eating or tacos. Do you guys ever do a Taco Tuesday or anything like that? That might be something that's, fun. Uh, that's crazy. We do we do tacos. Yeah. Tacos, uh, yeah, tacos. Yeah. Okay, great. You know you that. The tacos. Right. Uh -huh. Thank you. You have a good night. Yeah, yeah you too, yeah. Tom. Thank you. And... Uh, uh, again, once again, it, it, it just happened, Marla, where you're, 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 you're spot on the money with somebody. And I like the pause. I like the pause that comes in where they're like, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> uh, you know, holy crap. Okay, holy all right. Crap. How'd you know that? Um, hold on a minute. So I just got in a text from Lisa, and Lisa says, um, she said, so my true love is only in my dreams. Got it. Ha, ha, ha. Did she pull any cards? Curious to what they were since she didn't mention it. Yeah, she pulled cards out. Lisa, I watched her pull your mm-hmm. cards. This was the one, Lisa, um, and you said that uh, she wanted to know about the passport. And, oh, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, what what country her, her, her next ex-husband lives in. Right. And, yeah, Jimbo uh, says a water park in winter. Well, he lives in Phoenix, and her birthday's in the summer, so they'll go to a water park. In yeah, oh, he absolutely said she would enjoy that. So, yeah. All right, uh, I got time for one more call. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? You're live. Hi. Yes. Hi, this is, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, goody. This is Melanie. Hi, Melanie. Hi, this is fun. First experience, but I'm just curious. Um, anybody have, does she have an idea about this year in love or romance or something new and exciting? Are, are you right. single? Are you single, Melanie? Yeah, you know what? I've been single for like 12 years. So maybe. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> maybe it's whoa. The last cause. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, and where are you calling from, Melanie? Can I ask? I'm in uh, Newport Coast. California. Oh, oh man, you're in the that you're in the second most romantic city in the United yeah. States. Yeah, I know it's beautiful. It is. Yeah, it's really but I'm great. kind of old. I'm a little bit on the older side. I don't. I, I'm old. I'm old. Oh. We're all old. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and we're old souls. All right. So, Melanie, this is the thing. This you've got to get. You've got to get your mojo back. I mean, you. What is it going to take? So. Maybe start, go take a Zumba class or a, or a salsa class. Um, go get yourself some new underwear, some lingerie. Take a <laughs> goddess bath. Start romancing yourself. Um, if you eat, drink kombucha or something, pour it in a crystal goblet. Um, you start romancing yourself and get that energy flowing and get that going. Um, I do see a little bit of uh, heartbreak in the past where you were just like, oh, a little gun shy. But hey, the Ace of Pentacles comes in, the Ace of Swords, a lot of Aces for you, which is new beginnings. Um, the Death card comes in just to say, hey, put, de- cut that kind of language out that, oh, I don't know, it's too late, or I'm old, or I'm a lost cause. No, we're going to flip that around and write some affirmations for yourself. I am so happy that I am um, healthy and I have energy at any age, and I am vibrant, and I'm looking forward to new adventures, and I am ready for some hot, uh, sexy romance. Bring it on. So, you know, making some some affirmations for yourself that that uh, don't because you're putting out literally putting out prayers and when with your words, the words become things. And so words are things. So, um, yeah. And I feel like you're really like fun. You've got some girlfriends. You might do some dinners together or this or that. Or maybe you watch Sex in the City, the new one or something. But we, we got to get you more um, excited to to bring in that ma- male energy. Yeah, and you know what, Melanie? She think about that for a second. You got to You got to romance. I'm yeah, it all in. yeah, romance really yourself. Kind of- yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Create that energy. So then you project it. Mm-hmm. You project it. You, you know, and yeah. and it's uh, it's a thing that that is going to not only emanate and and but you're going to show it. And yeah. and that's it. So I I I'm I'm right with uh, Marla on this. Romance yourself. Yeah, I think get that vibe I love going. That. Yeah, I me love too. That, I do. You deserve it. You deserve to be ro- romanced and using the good china and the nice perfume and the nice uh, products and <laughs> go buy yourself something this weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah. just to treat yourself. You, you'll walk differently. Massage right? or something. <laughs> yes, yes. New lipstick. Yeah, <laughs> Manny Petty. Do something for yourself. Happy Valentine's Day, <laughs> Melanie. Thank you for so much for calling in. Thank you, sweetheart. You too. Thanks that's awesome. Fun. Yeah, that's an awesome phone call right there. And uh, and I, I I don't have we don't have any more time for any more calls. So if you're on hold. I just can't get another one in. What I do want to ask Marla, 
at MarlaMartinson.com. Um, it's easy for everybody to reach out to you there. Yes. Yeah. They, they can, uh, there's a way to contact me there and I've got my books and my coaching and my, um, energy healing and tarot readings. Everything's right there. So go check it out and connect, get on my newsletter, you guys, because I send one out once a week and you'll get ca- caught up on what, you know, what I'm offering, what I'm doing. And, and I give some advice on there and some intuitive stuff. Um, it's, it's kind of fun. So I, I want to keep in touch with you. So that's the best way is to get on the newsletter. Yeah. I wanted to ask you one last thing uh, before uh, we say good night. And it's always wonderful having you on the show and seeing you, Marla, uh, you know, I love you so much, but um, with everything, uh, you brought it up a few times. We all know what's been going on. It's a lot of tension. It's a lot yeah. of things happening and, and it starts from the top down and, and it goes right into your family, your relationships, you and the people around you and everything else. But, um, how, how do we, how do we unfocus on the negative? Right. I mean, I think that's key. Right. Where we can't let that. But how do we do it? Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, I think a lot of us were very aware and awake in in this crowd. So we're not focusing on mainstream media, which is just so toxic, I think, and and want to keep us in fear. So I think um, watching the comedy, you know, I like to put on Sebastian Maniscalco or something, some stand up, not listen, letting all those things come in. We want to be a, a, we have, I like the more alternative stuff. I like watching Russell Brand or Jimmy Dore, you know, I like some, the, the, these people that are doing the YouTube stuff give So I'm informed, but with a little humor and everything. And then I say, okay, I kind of know what, I know what's going on. Now let me go uh, do some meditation or do watch some stand up or go out and work out or something and not focus on it because gosh, we could really go down the rabbit hole. Right. And, and get scared. And, and, um, I just can't be in that fear vibration anymore. There's certain things we can do, uh, to help. And then there's other things that are just out of our control. And so living each day and knowing, Hey, some, my dad used to say this and another friend of mine said it a hundred years from now, nobody's going to even know the difference. <laughs> well, you know, and that's totally true. And, 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 and I know that this isn't going to last forever. And I I really feel, if I have had a crystal ball, I think we're at the end of the pandemic. I do. I just lost a very close friend of mine uh, yesterday, and it uh, uh, Saturday night, it affected me. Somebody that I've known uh, for 30 years and uh, 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 from COVID. And it, 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 it hit me really, really hard. And so, and I know that if, uh, you know, like his family, for instance, but there are others out there that are still affected by this. And I'm not saying, and I'm not being unsensitive, but what I am saying is it's, I think it's over. I think that Mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks, we're going to see some dramatic changes with this. And, but what comes with that Marla is we have to be prepared. For it ending, we've got to get back. We've got to, th- th- this is over. Life goes on. We oh, like ha- we were talking, we were at the Conscious Life Expo. It was like, you know, two, three years ago. It was before, like before the pandemic, people were just happy. hugging. And yes, it, it, happy. Dance. Yeah, happy. happy and no, I mean, I was there. I was with thousands of people. I mean, I didn't get a cold or sick or anything, you know, and neither did my friends. And we were just, just the vibration so high and people were not afraid. And it's just, yeah, it's the, I feel that it's over. When I see people wearing masks alone outside walking or in their car alone, I'm like, what are you doing? It's so, you know, come on, let's get, t- tear that thing off and, you know, it's breathe time. and have some fun. You it's, know? Time. Yeah. it's time, it's time, it's time, it's yeah. time. And we have to be ready for this. I mean, mm-hmm. we can't be behind the ball. You got to right. be in front of it. Hey, let's. That's it. Let's go. Let's get this thing back, and uh, let's get this planet back on course. And and I feel that we're right there. And with people like you, Marla, you know, helping us and guiding us and and giving us this great advice. Thank you so oh, much, my thanks. friend. I always appreciate it. It's the most fun night of the year. And um, oh, thank you so much. And thanks, everybody who called in. I'm sending everybody much love and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, Marla. And it's very simple, everybody. It's MarlaMartinson.com. I've got the links up in social media and, of course, over at JimmyChurchRadio.com. All right. And uh, we just want bumper to bumper with Marla. Awesome night tonight. And uh, tomorrow night, Lou Elizondo is here. You're not going to want to miss that.
Fade to Black is produced by Hilton J. Palm, Renee, Dennis, and Kevin. Announcers are Steve Harder, Gene Vitoa, Mark D. Kovar. Webmaster is Drew the Geek. Music, Doug Aldrich. Intro, Space Boy, spaceboymusic.com. Fade to Black is produced by KJCR for the Game Changer Network, and this broadcast is only copyrighted 2022 by Fade to Black and the Game Changer Network, Inc. It cannot be rebroadcast, downloaded, copied, or used anywhere in the known universe without written permission from Fade to Black and the Game Changer Network. I'm your host, Jimmy Church. I'll see everybody tomorrow night. Happy Valentine's Day. It's time to Fade to Black. <laughs> <laughs>